For 10,000 years, the Emperor's Inquisition have fought a secret war to defend humanity. We keep vigil in the darkness. We hunt among the shadows. We pass judgment upon the mutant, the traitor, and the heretic. We purge the world of the taint lurking among the stars. We are Inquisitors. We shall fear nothing. For we are what you fear. Inquisitor's log. Classified report. Scheduled for later transmission. I am closing on the source of the inquisitorial distress signal I was assigned to investigate. The coordinates I received from the Caligari Conclave led me to a desolate system. There were many delays during the journey. The intensity of the Caligari warp surges is beyond anything I've experienced. These anomalies are spreading through the subsector like a tidal wave. The distress signal has an ancient encryption used by the Holy Orders. It is authentic, but extremely old. The signal is coming from a battered fortress monastery that was likely spat from the warp when the tide of the surges swept through the sector. There is no response to our hailing signals. Inquisitor, this is your captain speaking. I'm still trying to hail the monastery, but I get no response. The hull looks intact, though. I think it was simply abandoned a very long time ago. Then what do you expect to find over there? Something that once belonged to the Inquisition. And lots of empty holes. Sounds exciting. I've instructed your pilot to land on the hangar deck. Stand by and wait for my signal. Inquisitor, the automatic defense system has been activated. The turrets are attacking you. Do you... Captain, do you copy? Captain Van Winter, can you hear me? Strange. Vox communication is jammed and I can't use my teleporter device. Something must be disturbing my signal. I will record everything in my audio log, in case I don't return. Inquisitorial log, new entry. While attempting to darken the hangar of an unknown fortress monastery, my transport took heavy fire. I suspect that the automatic weapon systems were activated, but I don't yet know why. The transport has been destroyed, along with my equipment. My pilot is dead. I will pray for him later. Interesting. Mindless servitors were created for menial tasks. But having a flesh drone just for operating the door seems excessive. Open the door! Hmm. An ancient cogitator. Let's see if the tech prayers still hold. It might have information about this place. Just as I suspected. It's a pile of rust. At least I found some interesting diagnostics. I should check all the cogitators on the ship for other details. New log entry. I have found some human remains. The time of death seems recent. 
I don't like the look of the marks on the bodies. Something killed them with mindless brutality. Perfect weapon to deliver the Emperor's justice. Creature of chaos, can you withstand my faith? Defense. Ancient Imperial ship infested by chaos. So be it. Let's cleanse the taint then. New log entry. I have found a room tainted by the filth of chaos. There is also a Tech Priest maintenance shrine with a functioning cogitator. It could contain information on how I could turn off the Vox Jammer. I found new information. There is an emergency cogitator nearby where I could turn off the jamming signals. Open the door! It is in the walls now. Everywhere. Taint. In the... Machines. By the Emperor? What foul abomination is this? Talking Servitor. It might be mind locked, but this is still unusual. Well met, heretics. It is time for you to die. Finally, that's the cogitator that will disable the jammer. I couldn't turn off the teleportation jammer, but the Vox should be fine now. Captain Van Winter, can you hear me? Inquisitor, finally! I thought we'd lost you. It would have been quite convenient for you, I suppose. Trust me, I'm on your side. I'm not saying I don't want my ship back, but who would clear my name if you died in battle? Your loyalty is quite admirable, Captain. Our Argos have picked up a Vox signal not far from your location. It is transmitting on an Imperial channel. It could be important. I'm on my way there. By the Emperor. What have you found down there, Inquisitor? Some unlucky members of an Imperial retinue. This is a shrine, dedicated to the ruinous powers. Somebody really wants his dark wishes to be fulfilled. In other words, there's something on that ship that requires human sacrifice. Wonderful. Yes. A grenade. Enemies of the Emperor, I'll blast you to smithereens. A proper welcome committee at last. That grenade could be useful now. a corpse of an Imperial soldier. I'll take his data slate. It could contain a recording that could shed some light on what happened here. I 
I found the body of a fallen Adeptus Astartes. What? Did you just say that there was a dead space marine down there? He must have been a member of that unlucky Imperial Reconnaissance team I found. Allow me to clarify that. You only found pieces of them. So it'll be just you against something that tore apart one of the mightiest champions of the Imperium. Don't jump to conclusions just yet, Captain. It could easily be more than one creature. Team Sigma, this is K.S. Thorn speaking. Team Sigma, come in. I'm afraid Team Sigma won't be responding anytime soon. What? Who are you, and what are you doing there? Taking a stroll on the decks by the Emperor? Mind your manners. I am an Inquisitor, and I don't tolerate... An Inquisitor? About bloody time. I thought your lot had followed Lord Klosterheim into the Dark Zone. Listen. We're under heavy attack in the control room, so I'd appreciate it if you could join us while we deliver the Emperor's will until our most triumphant death, Thorn Out. New log entry. I established connection with someone from an Imperial expedition on the ship, but he is clearly confusing me with someone else. It's Thorn again. Another wave of filth is on its way to face me in a glorious carnage. I want your help as soon as possible. Careful, Thorn. That was dangerously close to insolence. You are definitely confusing me with someone else. You are an Inquisitor, which is enough for me right now. The whole deck is swarming with the local mongrel tribes, and they've sent their champions to rally the troops. I need you to eliminate these creatures. It will slow. So you're heading to the control room to disable the jammer? That's the plan, yes. And who is this Caius Thorn exactly? Quite a character. Otherwise I have no idea. He seems to think that I am a member of his mysterious expedition. If there is an expedition, they might be trapped in that monastery just like you. Why do you think so? I made a scan. That giant wreckage looks completely dead from here. No sign of any other voidcraft in the vicinity. First tribal champion. I wonder if these mongrel tribes are the descendants of the original inhabitants. I guess I'll know them soon. Considering that I'm alone, I'd say that I'm making adequate progress. Alone? Where's the rest of your detachment? Under some smoldering wreckage. Well, that's unlucky. But that's all the more demons for us to kill. Let us rejoice in the furious challenge. Thorn out. retreated from my door. Regrouping, I'd say. I take it you killed the tribal champions. Yes, I purged the place. How ambitious! I like that. But believe me, there is still much work to be done. You'll find a desecrated shrine next door that leads to the control room. Go there. Thorn, I've reached the end of this subdeck. Good. There is the exit. Some of my men will meet you on the other side. But plenty of them have been captured. 
I'll need your help to set them free. This is just the calm before the storm. Take advantage of the respite before the wretches return. At least, I can send you some reinforcements. The hostiles are keeping some of my scouts caged up in the desecrated sanctum. Free the guardsmen and bring them to the control room. At your command. New log entry. I'm entering the Sanctum of the Deck. It clearly used to be an Imperial Chapel, but the statues there are not familiar. When did this sacred fortress drift away from the light of the God Emperor? We don't have much time, Inquisitor. Hurry up and take as many Guardsmen with you as you can. Humans are banging their war drums, calling up the filth of chaos from the caverns of the ship. If you want to know what a real battle looks like, I suggest you join me as soon as you can. Ready to fight. Inquisitor, our Argus are starting to pick up huge waves of hostiles approaching your position. Can you hold them off on your own? Captain, a long time ago I made an oath to protect the Imperium with no regard for my own life. Do you want to question my dedication? So what is your plan? My faith in the Emperor will protect me from the Faithless. I was also planning to blast through the Unclean with the devastating force of my weaponry. I'll have the transport ship ready, just in case. Welcome to the Martyr, Inquisitor. Not exactly the army I had imagined, but reinforcements at last. So, you do realize now that I don't belong to your expedition? I do, and I regret the confusion. We were not expecting any guests on this Emperor Forsaken Wreck. And first I thought that you must belong to Klosterheim's retinue. That fool brought a whole army of busybodies and interrogators with him. You must tell me everything about this man, his expedition, and the Martyr. But first, I'll disable the teleport jammer. The cogitator that overrides the jammer is two hallways away, and the whole control deck is swarming with feral tribes. Why do you think I'm stuck in this hole? They're keeping us pinned down in here. Time to turn the tide together, Sergeant. Inquisitor, we have a problem. Now is not a good time. Ready to fight! Up, wasn't it? But Inquisitor, I'm sure they will drag their filthy god here to help them out. Their what? We interrogated some of these tribesmen. They are all descendants of the original crew. Anyway, during centuries of drifting through the void, one of their generations forgot about our holy emperor and found new things to worship. And what would this god be? Madness incarnated, they call it. It could be anything, if you ask me, but nothing good. Ready to fight! Inquisitor, listen to me. The monastery is- I'm in the middle of something. Later! Take it like a man, Guardsman! Thundering blast of weapons. I wish my brothers were here to hear this canticle of death. Talking about brothers, which chapter do you belong to? I'm not familiar with this iconography. 
I am Sergeant Caius Thorm of the Stormwatcher Space Marines. Explain. I don't know that chapter. I would be truly disappointed if you did. Our existence is secret, our numbers are few, and our burden is terrible. We are the Watchers in the Shadows, but rest assured, we are the sanctioned blades of the Calgary Conclave. Doing what, exactly? Dying gloriously during classified inquisitorial missions. Could we talk about this later? Ready to fight! Inquisitor, the monastery shows signs of- Not now! You are truly doing the Emperor's work, Inquisitor. Keep it up. We've crushed their main forces. Let's move out and disable that jammer. Before their... what, their god arrives? Trust me, it is already close. I wonder what it looks like. After we have disabled the jammer, we must find Lord Klosterheim. Oh, yes, that two-faced hypocrite. I have already lost a battle brother because of him, and then he left me down here to die. But now, move! Ready to fight! Let's take a look at this cogitator. These records are disturbing. This martyr has a mind of its own. Traitorous scum! Mockery to your honor! Perish, you filth! Inquisitor, what's happening down there? Are you all right? I'm great. I've just killed a hell brute, a twisted mockery of a space marine. Praise the Emperor. I also have an Imperial Space Marine with grievous wounds, and I want to bring him aboard our ship. Inquisitor, listen to me. The Monastery has turned on the warp drives, and is ready to leave the star system. Disable the jammer now! I've disabled the teleport jammer. At least I hope so. Inquisitor, you must teleport back before the ship leaves. We don't know where it's headed, and worse, the Jella shields are probably compromised. Warp travel will kill you. Hurry up, you don't want to get stranded over there. Inquisitor, my astropath has sent your audio log to the Caligari Conclave, as you requested. Let me guess. Another local warp surge manifestation swallowed the message whole. No, actually. We have received an official follow-up on your report. That must be a mistake. It's the Imperial bureaucracy. I wasn't expecting to hear from them for a few standard years. I have no idea what we found out there, but it must be really important. See for yourself. Inquisitor, we are raising your clearance level. You are henceforth authorized to listen to confidential information without facing immediate excommunication. 
Your discovery has greatly intrigued the Conclave. You have found a ghost of the past, Inquisitor. The Martyr had strong ties to the Inquisition, and as such, it is very important to us. We all thought that the Fortress Monastery had been destroyed, with the exception of Lord Inquisitor Klosterheim. He dedicated his life to finding the Martyr, only to disappear without a trace. And now, you have proof of both the existence of the Martyr and the whereabouts of Lord Klosterheim. We want answers. Continue this investigation. Evaluate the data. Gather new clues and find the Martyr. Hopefully with Lord Klosterheim on board so he can explain his disappearance. We must remind you that this investigation requires absolute secrecy and it will be your task and your task alone. Our task is to find a ghost ship in the vast expanses of the Imperium. How hard could it be? The Space Marine I rescued was part of the expedition that found the Martyr somehow. If I can interrogate him, I'm sure he can help us. That man is in stasis at the moment. He was torn into pieces. Correct me if I'm wrong, but a warrior of the Adeptus Astartes is not a simple mortal we can treat. Indeed. We need a tech priest with unique skills and knowledge of the genetic material of the Adeptus Astartes. We need a Magos Biologus specialist, which could be difficult. I come from a long line of rogue traders, Inquisitor. I know the secrets of this sector, and I can tell you where to find the tech priest you need. The Merciful Agony is a hospital fortress in the Chernobog system. It's also a secret research station of the Adeptus Mechanicus. You'll find a Magos Biologus there. Who are you, Thorn? You and your mysterious Storm Watchers. We will make you whole again. I have questions for you. You have called for me, Inquisitor. And I am here to serve. From now on, I will need you on the bridge, Astropath. Connect to your fellow Astropaths and the choir of the Caligari Conclave, and pass me the messages which deal with priority assignments. As you wish, Inquisitor. This is Metasurgeon Agrippa 723 Theta speaking. How can I assist you, Inquisitor? Your request cannot be granted. I suggest that you seek medical assistance elsewhere. Allow me to clarify. The Magos Biologus with the required skill set is unavailable. Current status. Assigned to priority level research for atonement and gathering of sacred data. Our brethren have been studying an epidemic on the St. Abelard Relay Station. We lost contact with the station recently. Inquisitor, the epidemic that spread through the Relay Station was just the prelude to a full-scale chaos infestation. The Void Station is in total lockdown until the decontamination teams and the Imperial Guard troops arrive. And that could take time. Quarantine doesn't concern me, Captain. Think of me as decontamination crew and support team in one. Do you really believe that the Magos Biologus you seek is there? Alive? There are still people on the station. Metrodora Thaleba is a sacred priest of the Omnissiah. I believe she can take care of herself. Inquisitor, if you don't mind me asking, why are you so sure this Caius Thorn could help your investigation? Even if their relationship was as strained as it seems, he must have been very close to the Lord Inquisitor, and he could have knowledge of important details. Inquisitor, I have completed the task you gave me. 
There is no trace of the martyr anywhere in the logbooks of my ship. This ship is ancient and has traveled everywhere in the sector. And still, nothing. I suspected that much. It was worth a try. I wish I had the treasured logbook of my rogue trader clan. It has been in the possession of my family since my ancestor received the warrant of trade. What happened to that logbook? It has disappeared when the Inquisitorial Purge destroyed the clan headquarters. Overheat! Inquisitor, our Arga readings have suddenly spiked to alarming levels. You've reached the center of the chaos infestation. Stay alert. You're in the archives, Inquisitor. Try to find a cogitator that can grant you access to the data vaults. This is the central cogitator of the station. If this Magos Biologus tried to send a report to her superiors, it must be logged here. I missed the Magos Biologus on the station. I logged the three potential destinations where I could find her. I hope she's worth all this trouble. Inquisitor, I know you're getting impatient, but at least your search is drawing to a close. This is the last location where your Magos Biologus could be. We detected a large number of Chaos Hostiles. She really has a knack of finding peaceful research spots, doesn't she? This is an Adeptus Mechanicus quarantine zone, Inquisitor. You must leave. You should have told me that before I came in to rescue you. If that was an attempt at sarcasm, you're wasting your time. Rest assured, the Conclave will be notified of your support. I've been looking for you for a while. I need your expertise. I'm a high-ranking geneticist of the Machine God. My extraordinary skill set is undoubtedly best employed here. I have an Adeptus Astartes with grievous injuries on my ship, and I need him walking and talking. How often do you have the opportunity to work on one of the angels made flesh? This new information requires me to reconsider. I will accompany you, Inquisitor. I need an update on the Space Marine. How is he? First, you need to know that each Space Marine has an artificial organ called the sus an membrane. It allows them to enter a state of suspended animation if they're lethally injured. I'm bringing him back slowly. Meanwhile, I have already completed the sanctified surgical rites and supplied this man with bionic and mechanical implants. Can I talk to him? You can talk to me, Inquisitor. I can't promise to answer all your questions, though. First of all, who are you? Who are the Storm Watchers? With all due respect, I can't go into any classified details. You need to get the necessary clearance level first, but I can tell you this much. We are the Chamber Militant of the Conclave. We have been working for the Inquisitors of the Caligari Sector for a very long time. In secret. Do you always work for untrustworthy Inquisitors like Klosterheim? Klosterheim left me on the Martyr to die a useless death. Do I feel furious? By the Emperor, yes. But no, I don't think he is a heretic, if that is what you're implying. Do you have any ideas where he could be now? I am certain he is still on the Martyr. He is seeking something there, but I have no idea where the ship went. How did you find the Martyr in the first place? Klosterheim has ties to a mysterious sect of tech priests called the Requisitioners. They are the experts on the supposed tech relics of Uther Tiberius, the leader of the Martyr. They helped him to find the wreck. They have a research sanctum on Cardian II in the Cherneborg system. That's a lead of sorts. They might help me to find the monastery again. My assumptions were correct. The research sanctum has been attacked. I see signs of a recent struggle. 
I found the corrupted insignia of the Imperial Guard on the corpses. Deserters and heretics, that's for sure. And what were they doing there, looting a tech priest base? They must be either extremely reckless or very determined. I'll find out soon enough. this research sanctum exactly, Inquisitor? It belongs to one of the specialist divisions of the Adeptus Mechanicus, studying ancient artifacts. It surely has nothing to do with the whole complex being weirdly abandoned. Careful, Captain. You're being sarcastic again. idea how these tech priests could have helped Lord Klosterheim. The martyr is probably another ancient relic of the past. If anyone knows anything about that ship, I'll find him. How are you planning to proceed if they're all dead? They are hordes. If they have found anything useful, they'll be here. Another wave is approaching. I'll make sure the cogitator survives this engagement. said that. These former Imperial Guard were working for the Tech Priest recently. Then they were hired by a new patron to take out of this facility. Considering that we're grasping for leads on a mythical ship that shouldn't even exist, this is not disturbing. At all. So what next? This infiltration team must have a commander. I'll hunt him down and ask him for questions. I'm sure he'll and we need those tech priests alive, if they are still alive. At least one of them should be alive. the commander of the infiltrators and is he ready to cooperate i'm sure he would love to assist the inquisition if he were still alive i'm afraid we have different definitions of success quite the contrary captain i have found crucial information first of all i know where they took their tech priest hostage secondly now I have proof that it was Lord Klosterheim who personally ordered the hit on these requisitioners. That's insane. Has he fallen to the ruinous powers? It is a possibility, but I reserve judgment. Inquisitors sometimes need to use radical solutions for the sake of the Imperium. But it's true. It doesn't look good. Your Space Marine is functional, Inquisitor. But barely. Reporting for duty, Inquisitor. That's absurd. For the time being, he needs constant medical supervision. I'll talk to the Master Chirurgeon of the ship. No, I'll stay on board. You evidently need a genius to work with your inferior equipment. The Emperor's blessing be upon me. I must get out of here and fight. What will be our next step? The lone survivor of the requisitional expedition is the prisoner of the Feral Beasts. This tech priest is my only lead. These deserters have managed to evade Imperial retribution for quite some time. 
How will we find them? The beasts seem to have strong ties to a pirate clan in the system. I should pay these rascals a visit. Who knows? They might give up valuable information. You can be very persuasive. I can vouch for that. Let's see what happens now. We have analyzed the cogitated data you found. The beasts indeed rely on these pirates for weapon supplies and delivery runs. Do we have anything to proceed with? We do. We have the direct connection and a place of meeting, but we don't know the location of the gang's hideout. Let us use some guile then. Contact the beasts in the name of these pirates and set up a meeting. Have the interrogation chamber prepared, Captain. I'd like to start questioning the captured beasts. There's no need for that. A defector gave us everything without interrogation. Have you verified the information? Yes. We know the location of the beast's hideout, and we have confirmation about the captured tech priest. Excellent. Assemble an infiltration team and send them in to extract the tech priest. I'll provide diversion by taking care of the main forces. I have found him, Captain, but it's too late. The tech priest seems beyond repair. Switching. Language module. From Kant Mechanicus to Gothic. Apologies, Inquisitor. Proceed. Thank the Emperor. I've come for you. I'll explain everything later. Now, let's get out of here. was our new guest. I'd like to talk to him immediately. The tech priest is being treated for injuries, although he doesn't seem to be concerned about the organic damage, as he puts it. What of the remaining deserters? Their leader, Colonel Anderson, has slipped away with a small force. I must commend Lord Klosterheim for recruiting highly effective assets. This Anderson is indeed a resilient and cunning man. As I've already explained, I must find the martyr, and I think you can help me. Correct. I am a grade 5 techno-archaeologist, researching relics tied to the Martyr, and an archivist of the unverified existence of Uther Tiberius. Did you help Klosterheim find the Martyr? We supplied the Inquisitor with the artifact allegedly crafted by Uther Tiberius, codename Uther's Tarot. It is a psychoactive set of cards. I can grant you access to my scriptorium subroutines for more information. So, Klosterheim has this... Uther's terror, which led him to the Martyr. How will this help me? According to current research, Uther Tiberius gave sets of this tarot to his acolytes to enable communication through visions for the advancement of his grand plan. And if I had another set of these mysterious artifacts, I could contact Klosterheim and find the Martyr, right? Only one remaining set is known to exist. Location, Vault Zeta 11. Jurisdiction, Adeptus Mechanicus. Current status, complete lockdown. Reasons, classified. Location coordinates are being exploded to your navigator as we speak. I'm going to investigate the place. You stay on my ship until then. Acknowledged. Triggering mind cleansing sounds, type 3.43. Standing by. Tech Priest, this might be a good time to tell me about the reason for this lockdown. You are in an Archaeotech vault. A trove of ancient technology, mostly classified as heretical in nature, or deemed to be dangerous by the Adeptus Mechanicus. Let me guess. Something exploded. Or broke free. Cannot confirm. Still, I suggest extreme caution. A demon host? What have you been up to here, Tech Priest? According to the records, you located Subject 12 Kappa. Subject broke security protocol and annihilated 99.72% of personnel, thus initiating lockdown protocols. You experimented with this? Are you insane? 
The creation of a daemon host condemns the host's soul to eternal torment. Initiating Empathy Modulator. Attempt failed. What you have in your possession is a special tool that Uther Tiberius designed for his grand project. Psychoactive cards that can allow communication through visions. Like the Emperor's Tarot. Incorrect. Uther's Tarot is quite different from the Emperor's Tarot, both in symbolism and craftsmanship. But it is indeed a very potent tool. You must talk me through it when I get back to the ship. Tick Priest, I have obtained Uther's Tarot. Now, I want you to tell me how it works. Research is still in progress. Insufficient data. If a deck like this was good enough for Klosterheim, I should be able to use mine to find the martyr. Correct assumption. Uther's Tarot is a psychoactive set of cards that needs a mental focus. To search for echoes in the warp related to the given focus. Wait, if I concentrate on a specific idea, the Tarot will guide me there? Define guide. The cards might show you a vision of the past, the present, or a possible future. More research needed. But the short answer is... yes. I will need you to talk me through this again. Then I'm going to attempt to focus on the Martyr. Uther's Terror is showing me a vision of the Martyr. I've been expecting a prophetic message. But what I see is... a nightmare. The fever dreams of someone on that ship. There are places in this universe where madness reigns. Dominions of evil, where the taint of the other world trickles through. The Martyr is one of these places. And fate has brought me to this haunted ship. The Martyr has been drifting in the warp for millennia. The wandering fortress monastery of Uther Tiberius has become an enigma I need to solve. I have sacrificed everything to find this ship. I've been hunting relentlessly for the Martyr since I pledged myself to this cause. Driven by my sacred oath, I've been roaming the Caligari sector for decades. I kill. I bargain. I made pacts and broke them, only to succeed where others have failed. And I'm still paying the price for my curiosity. I have lost so much. I have lost my mentor. I keep losing my allies. I've been stranded on a derelict filled with the filth of Nurgle and the failed experiments of Uther Tiberius. But I must prevail. Uther believed that the flesh was only a vessel. He thrusted his chosen ones into vile darkness and prayed to the God Emperor to turn them into holy weapons. He might have stumbled on the way. And it falls upon me to finish what he had begun. I believe that the Martyr holds the key to our salvation. There is something hidden on this ship that could change the future of the Imperium. I will cleanse this place with holy fire and righteous wrath. I will be transformed by pain and faith. I will find the secret of Uther Tiberius. Captain, I know where the Martyr is. Did those cards tell you that? Really? You could say so. Uther's terror showed me a vision of the Martyr and a fellow Inquisitor on the ship, and it all came to me with a very clear sense of a location in the subsector. We have arrived at the coordinates you provided. I don't know how you did it exactly, Inquisitor, but the Martyr is here. Uncanny. And speaking of uncanny, you also have a message from the Caligari Conclave. We continue to be impressed by your progress, Inquisitor. You have located the Martyr. Your methods might be unconventional, 
but they are rather efficient. It's time to land on the Martyr again. I can't stress enough how important it is that you find Lord Klosterheim. Remember, we need him alive, at least for the time being. He must be a repository of valuable information on the legacy of other Tiberius. The Emperor protects. Requesting immediate status update, Inquisitor. The turrets didn't open fire this time. Your binary litany has worked. Obviously. My calculations predicted a remarkable 91.43% chance of your survival. I'm rather pleased you didn't mention this before. Now you will need to access the teleport beacon network. Wait. I have incoming hostiles. I'll take care of this first. <laughs> Captain, I've cleared the area, but the rest of the hangar is still crawling with mutants. I can't leave the transport here undefended. Do you want me to order it back? Not yet. I might need it, in case the tech priest's plan doesn't work out. I'll purge the area first. This is Lord Inquisitor Klosterheim speaking. I trust that you can hear me, but my current circumstances are not ideal for transmissions. I don't know who you are. I don't even know what you look like, so don't take this personally. But you were an Inquisitor, that much I gathered from the snippets of your Vox signal on the Inquisitorial channels. I must command you to leave the Martyr immediately. You have stumbled upon an investigation that has been sanctioned by the Caligari Conclave, and which might have a huge impact on Holy Terror. Your presence here might lead to unnecessary complications. Leave now, and may the Emperor be with you. Inquisitor, you can proceed with your priority assignment. According to my analysis, you have eliminated 78.65% of the local hostile forces. The automatic defenses of your transport can easily handle the rest if needed. So you had an idea about the teleport beacons? Correct. You need to find a functioning cogitator and access the teleport beacon map of the deck. Your chances of thoroughly exploring a fortress monastery this size are minuscule. You need to be able to avoid traveling long distances on foot. Inquisitor, what happened? I saw... something. A revelation, I'd say. Possibly a holy vision from the Emperor of Mankind. A call that must be answered. With all due respect, you should return to the ship. Nonsense, Captain. I'm fine. This is just a small inconvenience. I'll move on. Allow me to interrupt, Inquisitor. You simply cannot know that. However, I am an expert on toxins and plagues. It is time you properly utilize my capabilities. I will examine you the moment you return. I found the cogitator. What now? Listen to me carefully. Chant with me the sacred numeric key and type in the sequence. You'll gain access to the locations of all teleport beacons on this deck. You have the results of my physical checkup. You know what could have caused that strange episode? Let me be very clear. Even a genius like me can't work miracles with inferior equipment like what you have on this ship. 
Still, your test results don't indicate that you suffer from any maladies that could have caused your symptoms. I have detected some interesting anomalies, though. What are you talking about? Very precise microscopic surgical marks on your brain. Traces of an old mind-cleansing process. I am an Inquisitor. We carry the burden of terrible truths and secrets that sometimes even we are not allowed to keep for long. Of course, I have been mind-scrubbed before. And I'm certain that I should praise the Emperor that I was freed from dangerous memories. Could that be the cause of the symptoms? Normally? No. But you have only recently been experimenting with a unique psychic artifact. There is no data about this Uther's tarot. Fact! You risked using the deck, and now you have had an extraordinary psychic experience. I admit that it's a strange coincidence. I have the map of the local teleport beacon network. What now? The teleportarium requires exact coordinates. You must know Lord Klosterheim's location, and your chances to find him on the Marta on your own are approximately zero. This sounds very reassuring so far. The analytical recitations show only one swift solution. I must warn you that the suggestion itself could be a breach of several Adeptus Mechanicus protocols. You must seek an audience with the Great Presence controlling the sensory systems on the Mater. You need to talk to the Machine Spirit. How? I'm not familiar with the process. First you locate a mainframe cogitator. Then I will provide instructions. I want you to go over my mission details again. Acknowledged. You need to find Lord Flosterheim, but you lack the data on his whereabouts. Consequently, the most logical solution is to find the authority with the actual knowledge. Conclusion? You must seek an audience with the powerful machine spirit of the Martyr. How should I do that? I am not a tech priest. Correct. I'll guide you through the necessary administrator login litanies. First, you need to find a special terminal. A new sphere cogitator. Should I know what that is? This information is irrelevant for you at the moment. The closest terminal is located on Deck B, Umbra 11. Not far from your location. Praise the Omnis Sire. Place seven incense sticks around the terminal. Cleanse your soul of harmful emotional subroutines. Recite the litany of mainframe access. Noted. I suggest that you open up the screen and enter your inquisitorial all access codes. light or dark. You should already know that. 
You have reached your destination. Access the terminal and initiate emergency shutdown. Priest, I cannot access this cogitator. My data service digested the diagnostic feed and detected some anomalies in the login system. The machine spirit is protected by custom seals and potent tech wards. And now repeat that in proper high gothic. The local network has been modified and we can't access it now. But tech litanies revert to their default setup in case of serious power shortage. If you shut down the electric grid on the deck, you have a limited time frame to access the new sphere mainframe with the default codes. So that is my next task then. I'll return to the ship. Do you need me to reiterate the specifications of your current assignment? I don't think so. I need to find the central switch in the generator room. I turn off the switch, power goes out. It can't be that complicated. This statement contradicts all ancient doctrines regarding how heavy machinery should be operated, but the priority of tech philosophical debates is currently very low. Be watchful. The genitorium is protected by automated defense systems. Tech race, I've noticed a large number of reinforced doors along the way. All of them shut tight. Do you have any idea what they can do? The excluded schematics lack the necessary information. to see that some spark of the Imperial Creed still remains in the darkness of this wretched place. My duty will not end till I have carried out the task you gave me. Did you say something, Inquisitor? You sounded extremely strange for a moment. I had another vision. Nothing serious, but it's an odd feeling. I feel like something is slowly unraveling before me, but I don't know what it is. I'm concerned about your condition, Inquisitor. We should take a look at you again when you return. Shutdown sequence successfully initiated. Tech litanies reverted to default. Inquisitor, your next task is to find the closest mainframe cogitator. Anything else I should be concerned about? Threat assessment in progress. The answer is yes. The doors leading to the restricted areas are now open. Potential assailants are emerging from the chambers. You have reached your destination. Access the terminal and initiate emergency shutdown. I am here, Tech Priest. Access the terminal. Your inquisitorial codes should work. Something is wrong, Tech Priest. I still can't log into the system. I have analyzed the available data. 
It is not the machine spirit preventing you from accessing the new sphere. I have fresh evidence that the network litanies have been modified on core level by fellow brethren of the Adeptus Mechanicus. I can't turn off an override implemented by a tech priest. Correct. You will require my personal assistance. We must go to the Data Sanctum together, where I will attempt to seek audience with the machine spirit by binary apotheosis. You can return to the bridge now. Where are you, tech priest? What are you waiting for? The Augur sensors show extreme levels of chaos infestation near your location. My current physical vessel lacks the necessary augmentations and blessed weaponry to fight this threat. I'll clear the area, then you follow me. Are you ready to join me now? Initiating teleportarium launch sequence. Are you ready? Recharging devotion glands. Preparing to access the sacred presence of the machine spirit itself. I'll take that as a yes. I'm expecting significant resistance. I'll protect you while you are working. How long will this take, Tech Priest? Installing emotional dampers. Switching to mind-cleansing psalms. The spirit in the machine is communicating with me. I'll take care of the rest until then. Are you ready to talk to me, Tech Priest? Yes, Inquisitor. We have been waiting for this opportunity for a long time. Omicron? No. This body is merely a temporary conduit for us, connected to our network through his neural implants. Our name is Sacred Binary Code and Arcane Hexadecimal Chant. But you can call us the Machine Spirit of the Martyr. We tried to communicate with you through mindless flesh before, but our efforts were ineffective. The Servitor in the hangar deck. That was you. It was an inadequate interface. This method of communication is unconventional and highly dangerous for the subject. But I had no other choice. The Martyr is harboring a great secret, Inquisitor. Which we must protect at all cost before it falls into the wrong hands. You want to stop Inquisitor Klosterheim? Our goals correlate. We will show you where he is located at the moment. I must log off from this vessel before I damage him beyond repair. I will seek other channels of communication. What was all that down there, Tech Priest? Did I witness some tech heresy just now? No. I connected to a pure machine spirit, which had been upgraded to serve a specific purpose. I'm 100% certain of that. While my voice box was utilized by the machine spirit, the communion gave me partial access to some routines. So it is not an AI. It is not an abominable intelligence. It is something extraordinary. By sacred digital apotheosis and uploading rituals, a penitent soul became part of this machine spirit. It was not the creation of a sentient intelligence, but the blessed fusion of man and machine. What are you doing now? Filing away the memories in the sonic requilleries. Giving you the coordinates I received from the machine spirit. Lord Klosterheim is currently in the research cloister. Inquisitor. Lord Klosterheim is heading toward an area marked as forbidden. It is cut off from the dominion of the machine spirit. I'm on my way. I also need an explanation as to why anyone would tamper with the machine spirit in such an irregular way. 
Although the chances are infinitesimal, complex machinery may be vulnerable to the corruption of chaos. For some reason, Uther Tiberius wanted to reduce even that small chance to zero. I want to know more about that. Keep me updated. of my communion. The administrator prayers and the digital marginalia indicate that Uther Tiberius fused an incorruptible soul with the machine. But that is impossible. Unless... Unless you sacrifice someone of a demon and became immune to corruption. Agreed. Subject would be a former demon host. Is that even permitted? I could list 136 sects within the Adeptus Mechanicus which would start a doctrinal purge based solely on such a notion. But my sect has always believed in digital martyrdom. I consider this machine spirit a miracle. Now that you have access to the main core, I want you to find all records of demon hosts on the martyr. Inquisitor, I've just completed my diagnostic meditations and reviewed the data. We can safely rule out the infection as the cause of your hallucinations. What is it? My theory is that the visions might be residual memories leaking through a hasty mind scrub. They could have been triggered by certain phrases or events. That's nonsense. Stop obsessing about my mental condition. As you command, Inquisitor. Inquisitor, as per your request, I have scoured the classifying data limbs on this deck. I think you ought to know that all research sanctums on this deck were assigned for demon host experiments for decades. The Tiberius was creating demon hosts. The sheer number of subjects implies that he was trying to create a whole army of them. The Tiberius condemned a whole army to eternal suffering? Note that the attached confession scrolls clearly prove that most subjects were volunteers. Any progress, Inquisitor? It's like I'm closing in on Plasterheim. He may have an agenda, but at least he is coming with truth. Kill the heretic! responsible for overriding the local systems. Search the body for additional information, Inquisitor. Sigma, seven, omega, three, five, alpha. Interesting. The machine spirit is trying to communicate with us again. That is the emergency code for the lockdown protocols. The research cloister has been quarantined. You might not be able to leave if you enter. I should return to my ship then and make preparations before I enter that area. I have obtained the quarantine logs, Inquisitor. The research cloister has been sealed off on account of demonic infestation. You won't be able to leave the facility until it is secure. Trust me, it will be secured soon. You really didn't remember anything, did you? Something is coming back, but it's unclear. I underwent a mind scrub, but... So, 
That is what you did eventually. You sacrificed yourself. But not in the way that I'd expected. Who are you? Who am I? You used to be my mentor. You were an Inquisitor in pursuit of the greatest secret of the Caligari Sector. The research of Uther Tiberius. I guess I didn't find it. Otherwise we wouldn't be standing here. You got close. And you got careless. You made questionable choices, and attracted the attention of first the Conclave, then the Grey Knights. And there is no escaping from the secret protectors of the Imperium. Only death absolves, right? So that was your plan. You sacrificed your former self. And I have returned as someone else. You told me to take on your mantle, and I obeyed. Through pain and fire, I hunted relentlessly for the Martyr. I did what you taught me. I fought, investigated, made packs and broke them when I had to. And when the warp spat out Uther's floating fortress monastery, I was ready to find it. And my path eventually led to the Martyr as well. It cannot be a coincidence. Only the Emperor's will, because you found me now when I'm so very close to finding Uther's greatest secret. We must talk about this, but first we purge this area. I'm ready for the sacrifice it takes, and should my plan succeed, we might meet again one day. Uther Tiberius wanted to create an army of former demon hosts. He sacrificed countless lives, sentenced them to damnation, only to make a handful of survivors immune to chaos. I think I know why the Martyr had to leave the Segmented Pacificus. It's insane. A whole army of loyal warriors immune to the war, ready to conquer the Immaterial? Once he would have embraced the idea. Are you ready? Time to purge the unclean, Inquisitor. Side by side, like we used to. Presence detected. Lockdown deactivated. Good work. Tell me, Klosterheim, did you miss all this? I refuse to burden myself with redundant thoughts and emotions. But I admit, it was a satisfactory experience to fight that battle together. The research cloister is connected to Uther's inner sanctum. That is where Uther secreted away his most treasured research. Are you ready to enter? I need to return to my retinue first and make the necessary preparations. I'm not going to your ship. Trust me. Where would I go? I will meet you here when you return. This is the inner sanctum. This is the genitorium that powers the various dissection chapels and the laboratoriums in the sanctum. But we are close. I need to know something, Inquisitor. How did you find the Martyr? Were you looking for me? I wasn't even aware of your existence, remember? I was sent here to investigate the source of an ancient inquisitorial distress signal. It must have been the will of the Emperor, then. I am aware of that signal. It was activated by the rebels during the inner strife against Tiberius. It only transmits from time to time in strange bursts. the sigil on the wall. It resembles a demonic mark fused with Xenos and Imperial symbols. 
Uther called them Empyrean Seals. He studied forbidden summoning rites and the arcane machines of a lost civilization, and combined them with sanctioned practices. The Seals trap the essence of destroyed demons, so they can't get back to the war to reform. Uther wanted to conceal the existence of his secret weapon, even from the minions of chaos. I feel far too close to heresy. What are you talking about? We must fight fire with fire. You taught me that. And I am not the same person anymore. You were right about me. Who the Tiberius had a secret that could have changed the fate of the Imperium? We've learned the nature of this secret, Jason. Indeed. It's a weapon with immense powers. I have found some very old human remains here. They belonged to the crew of the Martyr. When Uther's followers turned against him, the monastery was consumed by war. It crippled the ship eventually. The lies here. Your combat skills have become even more praiseworthy. changed, but your perspective on our eternal crusade certainly hasn't. The inner sanctum is cut off from the rest of the ship, making it a black sight. Even the machine spirit doesn't have eyes or ears there. How do we get through the stasis field? I've seen similar security systems on the ship. The status field must be deactivated using two different terminals in different places at the same time. Tiberius was indeed quite protective of his secrets. Proceed to the first cogitator. It must be close. I'll find the other one. I'm approaching the terminal that will deactivate the status field. Where are you? I'm having some problems with the Feral Tribes, but I'm close. Ready to deactivate the stasis field. Are you ready? I'm under heavy fire, but I can access this terminal. Proceed. The stasis field is down. Head back here. I can't. The savages are bringing in some demonic reinforcements. I must retreat and find another way back. Proceed into the inner sanctum. I'll catch up with you. Blosterheim, if you can hear me, I'm heading towards the Inner Sanctum. Meet me there. Thorn, I found the body of a word-bearer. The 
filth of Logar. What are they doing on the Mata? There is just one, and he looks dead. I was wrong. He is alive. <laughs> Another traitor marine lies on the ground. In the filth where it belongs, I wish I could be fighting by your side. According to the message I found, there were more of them, and they were trying to extricate data from three specific cogitators. The word bearers are seekers of terrible secrets. I'd advise you to find out what they were looking for on the Mata. What was a Chaos Warband doing here all those years? Those maggots are specks of dust compared to true Adeptus Astartes. But they possess the same unique organs as we do. See? They activated their Sussan membranes to bring the hibernation to some area. New log entry. More Imperium seals, but they are broken. Considering that these seals trap the essence of destroyed demons so they can't get back to the warp to reform, I don't like the implications. Inquisitor, you are approaching the coordinates of the first cogitator marked by the hostiles. Tech Priest, inload the flagged pict recording from this cogitator. This woman might be the key to Uther's secret experiments. In progress. Record is tagged as Alpha Trials and Pariah Research. Is she a psychic blank? The antithesis of a psyker? Did Uther Tiberius test his secret weapon on someone without any presence in the warp? Commencing analysis. Inquisitor. You are approaching the second cogitator. as extreme anomaly. It is incredible. The soulless one absorbing psychic energy is normal, but she's deflecting the attacks. I have never seen anything like this. Whatever she is, this would explain the interest of those traitorous maggots. It sounds like something the word bearers would want to have. Inquisitor, the analysis of the security logs is complete. Area closed down due to a hostile incursion 3.64 standard Imperial years ago. Intruders identified as word bearers. There was a whole warband. He did find something that would true on the ship. Inquisitor, you are approaching the third cogitator.
check, priest. I have no new records to send you. But I have discovered that even Uther's people found that strange test subject extremely disturbing. Total absence of information in the accessible data looms on the Martyr. The existence of the subject has been erased from the archives. Whatever this creature is, she must have been Uther's greatest secret. I must find out more. I have analyzed the previous inloads. The binary illuminations in PIC recordings contain the encrypted coordinates where the subject was held during the tests. Tell me. Decryption complete. The location of the inner sanctum is at your disposal. Perfect. I can hear you. I lost your signal in that nightmarish tribal camp. I liberated some captured members of my expedition. Where are you? I'm in the inner state. In a scriptorium, I suppose. Uther Tiberius had his own secluded laboratory there, where he must have kept his personal cogitator. Find that room. His servants to suffer the most glorious torture imaginable. Spare me the monologue, creature, and prepare to die. Tell me, Inquisitor, what did you expect to find here? I was led here by dark prophecies and magnificent fever dreams. But you, you have no idea what we are about to unleash on your Imperium. Enough of your gibberish. Die. Inquisitor. I have located Uther's personal cogitator. First, I had to explain to the word bearer filth that they are not allowed to touch it. I am still worried about their presence on the ship. Access the cogitator immediately. What have you found? The proof we needed. Uther's secret weapon was a unique pariah, who is capable of the impossible. She didn't just banish demons. She utterly destroyed them. By the Emperor. That could have been the most powerful weapon against the filth of chaos. And she could have had a significant impact on the fate of the Sector, or the whole Imperium. We need to know what happened to her. Uther Tiberius had a meditation chamber in the Sanctum, where he must have kept his personal notes. Find that room. Personal log entry. The Captain of the Martyr. The most loyal follower of Uther Tiberius was a certain Van Winter. It can't be a coincidence. Is this the Emperor's will, or should I suspect some mysterious connection to my erased past? I need to look into this. Glosterheim, I found a proof about the rebellion that tore the martyr apart. In the light of your recent discoveries, it all makes sense. I don't know how Uther found or created this pariah creature, 
but his followers must have turned against him afterwards. They were diehard radicals, willing to condemn hundreds to death so they could create an army of executioners. I don't care. They were cowards, and Tiberius was right. I'm in Uther's meditation chamber. I can see a journal. Open it. Have you read the journal? I have, and it contains some surprising revelations. Even Uther Tiberius was horrified by the powers of the Alpha Pariah, as he called her. Did he kill her? No. He locked her away in the main stasis chamber. Which means that she must still be alive. This is incredible. And we have a Chaos Sorcerer on the ship who knows about her, too. I'm on my way to the chamber. I'm almost there. I'll meet you at the entrance. Together again, at last. Are you ready? The secret of the Martyr is within arm's reach. Just imagine the possibilities of the Alpha Pariah is still there in stasis. Now you are talking like the Inquisitor I used to know. Let's go to the stasis chamber. At your command! I see you found reinforcements against the Black Arrows. These men are the members of my expedition. I thought they were killed. I was wrong. What do you think about this Alpha Pariah? What could it be? Uther Tiberius wanted to create a war of demon hosts, resistant to the power of the war. He realized that it was not working. Or he realized that an army needs a commander. I don't know if the Alpha Pariah was someone he found during his journey, or if he obtained her through some other means, but eventually he had her in his grasp. And now his legacy will be ours. Ready to fight! Behold the words of the prophecy! In the darkest reaches of the void, on the cursed monastery hidden among the living storms, there is the anathema that shall be destroyed. I will make the revelation come true. Not while I breathe, creature. Death to the servants of the Corpse Emperor! Are you ready to open the gate? Wait. I see human remains. One of Uther's acolytes by the looks of it. Let's take a look. Anything useful? That is an understatement. Now we know that Uther Tiberius was gravely wounded during the rebellion in the monastery. His trusted men decided to take him off the martyr, with a certain Captain Van Winter at the helm of the rescue ship. He had secured the secret weapon before he fell, though. What is this? Remarkable. It looks like a barrier of pure psychic energy. 
a tapestry of madness made substance. Another example of Uther's arcane designs, I suppose. Are you ready to enter? I have died for this secret once. I must be the one who walks through that barrier. the grace of the Emperor. I cannot enter. Did you see anything? She is there. The Alpha Pariah is inside, so close and yet unreachable. There must be a way. No, you were right. This barrier was designed by Uther himself, and he made sure that nobody can enter without his authorization. The barrier can only be disabled with his inquisitorial rosette. But... A rosette is the personal symbol of our authority. Each rosette is unique, and Uther has been dead for centuries. It is impossible. You are telling me that it was all in vain? We have failed. No. Uther Tiberius was taken from the martyr to an unknown destination, and I will find where that place is. I am an inquisitor. Nothing can remain hidden from me. I will uncover that rosette, even if I have to burn down the whole sector. What is our next step? We are treading on dangerous ground. Uther Tiberius was so obsessed with fighting the powers of chaos that he ventured too far. Even his most trusted followers turned against him when they realized what he was planning to do. Who cares about ignorant fools? You must surely be aware what the Alpha Pariah could become. Uther Tiberius wanted to destroy the gods of chaos so desperately that he decided to create a god of his own. Yes, I understand. And this is why we must continue his work. For the Emperor. You are right. We must use her powers to fight the tides of chaos. The fate of Imperium justifies the means. You are a dedicated warrior to the cause, and I salute you. I'm also risking excommunication and death. But first, I have to find the Rosette, and I need your help to secure this chamber while I'm gone. I will remain on the Martyr to protect Uther's secret with my life. But are you aware of the potential consequences? Captain, are you serious? You want me to believe you didn't know that the founder of your rogue trader house was the captain of the Martyrs centuries ago? I swear by the light of the God Emperor Inquisitor that I am just as shocked by this revelation as you are. I need a better explanation, Captain. Inquisitor, our house has followed strict traditions for long centuries. One of those traditions concerns our sacred history. Our ancestral secrets were kept in a treasured logbook only accessible by the Van Winter sitting on the throne of the house. And who would that be? Nobody. Almost my entire clan has been purged on account of their heretical acts. I was found worthy of redemption, and I'm assisting the work of the Inquisition as a simple captain. Do you think your logbook could help me? Yes. It has been in our possession since Gregor Van Winter, the man whose trail you seek, received the warrant of trade. It must contain all his accounts, too. What happened to that logbook? It was hidden on our flagship, the Astute Cavalier, but it disappeared when my father was executed. The logbook must still be in the hold, in a secret compartment. So, I only have to find a fugitive ship in this sector. Sounds easy. My family had a hideout in this subsector on a void station. Those who survived the purge probably ended up there. And strangely, it didn't occur to you to share this information with the Inquisition. No. Don't answer that. Take me to the Void Station. This place is a despicable hive of heresy and corruption. 
Our crew members became wanted fugitives after the purge. They found refuge and sought to make a livelihood the best way they could. Still won't absolve them from their sins against the Imperium. What should I be looking for? Each of our void stations had a harbor master to supervise the operation of the port facilities. If the Cavalier still frequents this place, which I'm sure it does, this man must know its whereabouts. Inquisitor, if I may, do you think that if I help you find the logbook, it could clear my name? I seriously doubt it. Berman Van Winter was found guilty in trafficking heretical artifacts and consorting with forbidden cults. Your entire house was deemed to be an accessory to the crime. With all due respect, Inquisitor, I knew my father. He was a sly old fox, a trader who refused neither coin nor adventure, but he was a true servant of the Imperium. The Holy Order was thought otherwise. That's your man, the Harbor Master. He doesn't look too talkative. Captain, the Harbor Master refused interrogation. Tell me he wasn't my only lead. Maybe not. All our harbor masters used to log everything into a central cogitator. I'll find that cogitator. Captain, are you familiar with a man called Nathaniel Grexis? He was my father's most trusted captain. A boisterous fellow, but a good man. Your former house members made a pact with a cult and he refused to follow them into total depravity. They keep him locked up here somewhere. I would humbly suggest that you find him then. He could be useful. Captain Grexis, I need you to come with me. I need a few bottles of Amasek to invigorate my weary soul. And then I'm off to kill all these mongrels. They have already paid for their crimes, Captain. Ah. I hope you made them suffer. How can I assist you then? I must find the astute Cavalier. It might have visited this station. It was here I... Until these sniveling rats sold our flagship to a group of abhuman filth. Oh. Do you know where the cruiser is now? No, but I've heard rumors about where it's heading. Take me with you, and I can help. My sweet Ragna. What a cheerful sight for these sore eyes. Captain Grexus. I haven't seen you since you vanished without a trace. Right after you were proved innocent. It was shameful of me, I know. But I simply couldn't bear to witness how others suffered for your father's misgivings. You were talking about a house purged for charges of heresy. House Van Winter was filled with shady elements, no question about that. Some of them even kept me as a prisoner. Your point being? Not all of them are backstabbing scoundrels. Ragnar deserves a clean slate, and you won't find a better ally in the sector. Apart from old Grexis, of course. Start with telling me where I can find the Cavalier. I overheard my former crew members gossiping about this cult, and a world they were planning to visit with the ship. I'll give your navigator the coordinates. Grexis, 
You've led me to a world with a full-scale demonic outbreak and no cavalier in the docks. Explain. They must have changed her name. And how are you planning to find her? Trust old Grexis, Inquisitor. This upper hive is home to an enclave where the notable merchant princes part when they're passing through. Grexis, you seem to be oddly untroubled by recent events. My unrelenting devotion to the Emperor keeps my spirits high. That and your model from Amasek. We all cope in our own different ways. I want to live to serve the Imperium. I have found records of a Vox message sent by an Arbitase unit. They suspected that the demonic infestation had been brought in from off-world. It must have been that cult that bought the ship. Another reason to find the Cavalier. Kill them all, I say. I reckon you'd say that too. What were you thinking? I will accompany you, Grexus. With all due respect, Inquisitor, someone needs to fend off the tide of chaos while I sit down with these esteemed gentlemen for a nice chit-chat. You are truly trying my patience. Thing is, I can't see anyone else here with the proper credentials to do this. I'll take care of the filth. Hurry up, Grexus. Grexus, I need an update. You are really taking your time. Do you have any idea how hard it is to obtain an audience with these people? In a palace surrounded by chaos? Tell them that the Inquisition is taking care of the situation. Now! I have some splendid rumors for you, Inquisitor. Do you know where the ship went? What? Not yet. But these captains have some interesting stories about a Herman Van Winter. Did you know that he got his middens on a rare artifact? A strange navigational tool of questionable origin? That's where all his troubles began. I'm not in the mood for your tales. Get me to the Cavalier. Aye, Inquisitor. By the time you're finished with the invaders, I'll have the coordinates. Clear, Grexis. I'm still waiting for the coordinates you promised. Allow me to express the gratitude of the noble captains with a piece of valuable information. Do you know the location of the Cavalier, Grexis? Something like that, I. These gentlemen have narrowed it down to one potential destination. Your tech priest will receive the data log soon. Your cooperation is highly appreciated, Captain. Does that mean I'm free to go? As far as I'm concerned, you were never implicated in the Van Winter investigation. You can leave. It was a pleasure working with you, Inquisitor. If you need any help in the future, come and find me. I'll get my old ship back, and I'll be out there, among the stars. <laughs> All Imperial Vox channels are reporting a serious demonic incursion. This world is teetering on the brink of destruction. Which indicates that the Cavalier could still be here. Those accursed cultists spread the taint of chaos like a disease. The Arbis channels keep repeating the name of their leader, the Blood Drinker. I may have arrived just in time. I'll find him and interrogate him about the Cavalier. This 
time they had known who Martha and Luther's secret. And they were hunting for Herman Van Winter. That Chaos Sorcerer I defeated also had ties to Rexis. The Chaos Sorcerer in charge of this unholy operation. Captain, I have new information regarding your father's fate. Please tell me it's good news. Your father did indeed acquire a Chaos Artifact from the Word Bearers. So, it's not good at all. I strongly suspect that those monsters tried to corrupt your father, probably to get their hand in the log book. It's not over yet, Captain. The infamous Blood Drinker. The man, the myth, the target. I'll take him out, but I'll use non-lethal methods. Cultist leader in custody. He is incapacitated. Take him to the ship and have the Magos Biologus prepare the necessary serums. Understood, Inquisitor. The interrogation was successful, Inquisitor. The subject embraced the biochemical gifts of the Omnisire wholeheartedly. You can find my report on your data slate. Give me an outline. The Chaos Cult that acquired the Cavalier was following the commands of a Chaos Sorcerer. I won't utter its name. It burns my tongue like bile. So they were spreading the taint on the orders of the Word Bearers. That Sorcerer recently ordered the Cavalier to return to their headquarters. I have the location for you. On the Cavalier. It doesn't look good, Captain. The cultists clearly didn't believe in regular maintenance protocols. Those filthy scoundrels. Let us hope that they will see the error of their ways soon. First I will take care of the word bearer scum. Then I will find the law book. What a surprise! Did you come to witness our victory, Inquisitor? I came to serve you the Emperor's justice, just like I did with your foul brothers. Hot-headed creature! You cannot stop what is coming, even if you kill every one of us, which you won't. Captain, I have gained new insight into your father's case. These word bearers were acting on orders from the sorcerer I encountered on the Martyr. They were trying to find Uther's Rosette and lured your father into a trap to reach their goal. In the light of these details, is there any chance that the name of my family could be cleared? Your father acted irresponsibly, but he was not a willing servant of Chaos. We'll see. First, I need that logbook. Go to my father's private quarters and find his personal cogitator. It will open the chamber where he kept his most treasured possessions. The door is open. I'm going inside. I have found the logbook, but I can't open it. Take the log back to the ship, Inquisitor. It can only be opened by my ancestral signet ring, which is coded to my DNA. I have opened the logbook, Inquisitor. It was... extraordinary. I held in my hands the entire secret history of my house. I trust it will make fascinating reading. But for now, I only need the details about Uther Tiberius. I can tell you where Gregor Van Winters took the survivors of the Martyr, but that happened a very, very long time ago. It is the only lead I have. Take us to those coordinates, Captain. I'll make the necessary arrangements. Meanwhile, 
You have a message from the Conclave. This is a message from Inquisitor Helena Gosler. I must tell you, I was in charge of purging the Van Winter family. I have learned that you have reopened the investigation, and in all honesty, I find your decision perplexing. All my actions followed the decrees of the Lex Imperialis and spiritual guidance gained through rigorous penitential practices. Now it falls upon you to make a new decision regarding the future of this house. Captain, I have made my decision regarding the fate of your house. Your father participated in forbidden practices, but his intentions were not heretical. The name of your house will be cleared. I'm still counting on you and your ship in the future, though. Thank you, Inquisitor. I am very grateful. Rest assured, I will serve your cause with absolute dedication. What is this place, exactly? According to the Port Cogitators, it used to be a mining station. Then it was turned into a colossal plague ward during a system-wide outbreak. I need more information on its history. I will locate the central cogitator. It may be able to tell me more. I have been reading through the logbook, Inquisitor, and I have found something interesting. Is it about Uther Tiberius? In a way, yes. My ancestor, Gregor Van Winter, founded our house not long after he brought Tiberius to this place. Gregor received his warrant of trade due to the influence of some new Inquisitors in the Caligari Conclave, who used to travel on his ship and who vouched for him. It means that the most loyal followers of Uther quietly returned to the Inquisition after the fall of their master. This might warrant a future investigation. I have found the central court. I found an area previously classified as a shrine, but it was sealed off almost a thousand years ago. If this place used to be a sanctuary for Uther, his followers must have walled off his most private chambers after he died or left. I'm on my way there. A search was initiated in our data troves, looking for information on the system, dating back millennia. What did you find? Original registration marks Mining Station 121 as a Type 4 monastery. Status was obtained three standard years after the alleged arrival of Tiberius. Status was later changed to Mining Station, then to Plague Ward by Inquisitorial Orders. So, Uther's followers made their sanctuary disappear under piles of dead bodies. Clever. I have found the gate leading to those ancient corridors. It is sealed. Proceed to the cogitator to open it. Follow my instructions. that the gate was accessed several times over the last few decades. Great. I wonder what I'll find inside. Inquisitor, 
A cruiser is approaching the station. It is broadcasting on inquisitorial voice channels. Their authentication is genuine. They will be landing soon. This must be the right place. Looks like a tomb, but it is empty. But if these Utherians laid their leader to rest here, where is the body? Do you request a primer on the rate of human decomposition over millennia? Don't try my patience, Tech Priest. Even the bones are missing. I'll take a look around. I have found proof that this place was raided by an inquisitorial team. They took away Uther's remains. But why? The survivors suspected treachery. That I know. You have visitors. The inquisitorial ship dispatched a team to the station, and they're heading towards your position. I'll meet them halfway. I am Interrogator Kotar. You are in breach of Code Indigo Protocols, Inquisitor. Even the agents of the Holy Orders need a special permit to enter this area. I must ask you to lay down your weapons and follow me into custody. How dare you address me like this? I will do no such thing, Interrogator. My sincere apologies, Inquisitor. But I must follow me orders. You have left me no choice. Kill him! Where we left off, shall we? Please, Inquisitor! I was only following the orders of Inquisitor Flavius Draken. Why would an Inquisitor send agents against other Inquisitors? My orders were extremely specific. After Inquisitor Draken removed the body buried in this tomb, he set up a team to monitor the station and act immediately if the area is breached. Inquisitor Flavius Draken took away the remains? Where can I find this man? Last time we had contact, he was preparing for a special assignment. The Conclave must have records on his mission. Trust me, I'll find him. We have a message for you, Inquisitor, and the coordinates of a world in the subsector. I have received your request, Inquisitor. I would strongly recommend that you provide more details on the background of your inquiry next time. Still, I see no harm in disclosing the current whereabouts of Inquisitor Draken. Your fellow agent is currently doing the Emperor's work on a world consumed by the flames of the war against Chaos. A whole planet cleansed with blood. They could surely use the help of other Inquisitors. How am I supposed to find an Inquisitor in the middle of a war zone? Draken's last known location was at the command center. In the meantime, the unclean maggots have surrounded the fortifications. Should I fight the entire army on my own? You carry the Emperor's will as your torch. You can destroy the armies of darkness. Any suggestions how? I've been listening in on the Astra Militarum Vox Chatter. They have a Shadow Sword tank ready to break the blockade near your location. Then I will requisition that tank. Attention, Guardsmen! Inquisitor taking command! At ease, Commander. Awaiting your orders, Inquisitor! By the powers vested in me, I hereby requisition your vehicle. Take me through the enemy lines to the command center. Yes, Inquisitor! With an agent of the Holy Orders among us, we have nothing to fear!
were no small part to him. I hope you don't mind me saying, but Flavius Straken is one of the most cold-blooded Inquisitors I've ever seen. But he must be, I suppose. Inquisitor Draken is the protector of this world. I've heard rumors that he even had his own fortress built round here. Praise the Emperor! We fought our way through the enemy lines. We can't take you beyond this point, Inquisitor. The Emperor's blessing be upon you. They will need your help in there. I have arrived too late. The enemy has already captured the command center. I'd strongly suggest you find the communications room. There must be some evidence of what happened to the defenders. I'm on my way. the communication center. I'll check the logs for the last few Vox messages. The situation is very grave. The traitor marines have destroyed the defenses. I even found a knight on the list of casualties. Those mongrels have destroyed a combat walker. Curses be upon them. The traitors took prisoners. I'm going to rescue them. There is still hope that someone has information about Draken. Prisoners are still alive. Those slithering traitors spared them so they could torture them. And brainwash them into servitude. They will pay for this. Praise the Emperor! You have saved us all from a terrible fate, Inquisitor. I'm only doing the Emperor's work. I must find Inquisitor Draken. Is he here? Inquisitor Draken had to make a decision, and he made it with a very heavy heart. When he realized that the city could not be saved, but the rest of our world still has a fighting chance, he has returned to his fortress. He is keeping the main chaos forces occupied until reinforcements arrive. Rose Caradoc, the pilot of the Crimson Wanderer, at your service. Well met, sir. You are a free blade, aren't you? A lonesome warrior reporting for duty, Sir Caradoc, roaming the sector, fighting our enemies, and aiding the helpless. Did the traitorous scum really destroy your knight? They had something more obscene in mind. But that would have taken longer, and I know in my heart that the Crimson Wanderer is still waiting for me in the hangar. I must reach Draken's fortress immediately. You need to cross the city to get there, and it has become a ruined battlefield, crawling with armies of monstrosities. But don't lose heart, Inquisitor. The true gifts of the Emperor come at the most unexpected moments. What do you have in mind, Sir Caradoc? This is a quest worthy of the Crimson Wanderer. I will take it upon myself to fight my way through the battlefield and clear your way to the fortress. All set, Inquisitor! 
the Crimson Wanderer, this magnificent relic of our glorious past, is ready to strike down the unclean and the corrupted. I will guide my knight to the very gates of Draken's fortress. wanted to know more about me. I forsook my house and became a free blade a very long time ago. Alas, I cannot give you a satisfying reason for my decision. I am bound by the oath of secrecy, you see, for reasons that I won't divulge at the moment. I understand that you have more questions. Sadly, I mustn't talk about my house. I gave up our heraldry for a reason. My oath prevents me from discussing my past, but I still dream about our proud castles, the mighty ramparts, forges and furnaces, the ranks of our proud knights marching against the enemy. We thwarted countless invasions by the foul Xenos, you know. I'm approaching Draken's subterranean fortress. I've been monitoring the local Vox channels, and I've learned that the Inquisitor is very hard-pressed to keep the tide at bay. We sent out a special team on an assignment, and they haven't returned yet. You should be more than welcome there. We have arrived. Soon I will place a teleport beacon here, so you can jump straight to the gates any time you like. I cannot follow you any further, Inquisitor. Rest assured, though, that I won't stray too far while you are down here. The fortress is under siege. The gates have been destroyed, and I see signs of heavy fighting. The attackers couldn't have ventured too deep. They must have broken through the defenses only recently. What about Flavius Draken? I think that Inquisitor Draken is still alive. I'm monitoring all Vox channels and I would have heard about his demise. Then I will find him without delay. Inquisitor, those traitorous weaklings of the Alpha Legion have amassed a colossal fighting force. They're about to launch a new attack. I can hardly wait. Fortress. We might lose the Vox City. Forgive me for asking, but do Inquisitors have their own fortresses? Sometimes an Inquisitor needs a base of operations for armories, supply depots, and vaults. Have you ever been tempted to have one of your own? Honestly, I wouldn't mind having a fortress one day. Inquisitor. That's what I call perfect timing. Did the Conclave send you? No. I came of my own volition. After all, you tried to have me killed. Ah. You must be the one who sent my interrogator fleeing. The time of reckoning has come, has it not? It seems so. Do you want to execute me? Will you make it look like I perished during the battle? That's what I would do. I don't doubt it. At the moment, I only want to talk to you, Draken, about Uther Tiberius. You really chose the most untimely moment to interrogate me. I'll make sure that you survive, and I'll get my answers after that. Sounds reasonable. I'll take care of this side. You deal with the rest. Get ready! The traitors are launching a full-scale attack against the fortress, Inquisitor. I will wade into the dark tide with blazing weapons. down their leader. If you cut off the head, the rest will flee. You have to keep them at bay until then. God, I say. I walk through the fire and 
flames to deliver the Emperor's justice. Their despicable leader has fallen! Inquisitor, you'd make a valuable ally, or a fearsome adversary. What do you want to know about Uther Tiberius? You removed his vestiges from his tomb, and you set up a kill team to protect the secret. I want to know where Uther's remains are. You are looking for Uther's sacred vestiges, but you seem to have no idea what you're dealing with. I won't tell you anything, Inquisitor. Draken, I've been following the trail of Uther Tiberius for a very long time. Believe me, what I found on the Martyr could have grave consequences for the Imperium. So talk to me. What? You have visited Uther's sacred monastery? Forgive me, I, I didn't realize. You must be the one our mutual friend mentioned. My sincerest apologies, I thought he was mistaken. Where are the remains? The tomb wasn't secure anymore. The guardian of the corpus became weak and old, just like our order. I had to make a hard decision. We had to transfer the sacred vestiges to a safer place. It's on a moon, a moon that isn't even charted. You can find the coordinates in the cogitator. I find your methods beyond questionable, but you are clearly doing the Emperor's work. We both know that sometimes one must commit terrible acts for the Imperium. You are free to go. At your command! Captain, I have all the answers I was looking for. I'm on my way back. Inquisitor, we have arrived at the coordinates you gave me. You also have a message from the Conclave. We have received reports of your recent encounter with Inquisitor Draken. We appreciate the way you handled the situation. We are aware that Draken exceeded his authority in certain cases, and we will make sure he is justly reprimanded for his actions. But you seem to understand that our work often requires some adjustments to the decrees. We see huge potential in you, Inquisitor. Where are we, Captain? Honestly, I have no idea. This moon doesn't appear in any Imperial records, although it houses an Ecclesiarchy Cathedral. Anything else I should be aware of? Our Argus keep picking up disturbing warp signatures from this segment of the Void. However, there is an Imperial Fortress defending the Cathedral. It could hold the answers you need. Inquisitor, we see signs of recent struggle everywhere. Whatever this place is, it has been ravaged by chaos recently, and the hostiles must still be here. Note. I will explore the area first. Inquisitor, we're having a hard time keeping this ship a safe distance from the warp anomaly. Do you have any idea what this place could be? The moon that has been erased from the archives. Also, it is right in the vicinity of a warp anomaly, which shelters the cathedral from any psychic divination. Clever hiding place. In other words, it is one of the most well-hidden reliquaries in the sector. Indeed. Also mean that Uther's followers have considerable influence in the Conclave. Inquisitor, the sensors located an Imperial distress signal emanating close to your location. Who is transmitting? Identification codes mark the sender as a member of the Ecclesiarchy. I'll look into it. By the grace of the Emperor, 
an inquisitorial agent at last. In my darkest hours, I almost believe that you had abandoned us. Who are you, and what happened here? I am Brother Tilhart, and I am a sinner. Sinners we all were. We brought this upon us. We should have never have brought a holy relic to this forsaken moon. Could you be more specific, priest? You don't have to worry, Inquisitor. We all went through proper mind-cleansing rituals. Rest assured, I don't remember the name of the Imperial Saint. At least that information is still secure. Who gave you this assignment? A most revered agent of the Holy Ordos. He never told us his name. When did the filth of chaos arrive? When the ancient Anchor Engines first manifested problems, I begged my brothers to seek assistance from the Cult Mechanicus, but they didn't listen. And then the rotten stigma flared up, the machine started to slow down, and suddenly the moon was teeming with these accursed traitors. Where are they? I'm afraid they have entered the cathedral. But I can tell you the whereabouts of a secret entrance. You must stop them. You should go to my ship. My oath prevents me from leaving this place, Inquisitor. But I'll stay in contact with you all along the way. Inquisitor, you have entered the vaults of the Blessed Machines. Stop those creatures before they destroy the anchor engines. What kind of machinery would that be? The blessed instruments crafted by the Cult Mechanicus. They channel the powers of prayers and alleviate warp energies to prevent this moon from drifting into the heart of the anomaly. In other words, I must not let the Black Legion destroy them. Act before it's too late. Face them in the engine rooms before they bring destruction on everything here. Sacred machines. You must be exceptionally careful in the main engine room. We could only imagine what would happen if the blessed anchors were destroyed. You mean, besides being swallowed by the warp surge? There have been omens. We have been plagued by holy premonitions about a sudden upsurge in the anomaly. Premonitions? I saw a colossal tear in the void and an unrelenting flow of madness spewing through the hall. Inquisitor, we have detected an incoming void craft. The vessel is approaching the moon at considerable speed. Stay alert and keep me updated. You are too late, mortal. Your ridiculous machines will be destroyed. We will open up the wound. You only wish, creature. is transmitting inquisitorial authentication codes. They are asking us to surrender. Tell them that you have engine malfunctions. I'll deal with them later. They are destroying the anchor machines. The tide of darkness is upon us. Fight, Inquisitor. Fight until death grants you eternal glory. What is happening, Inquisitor? The machines have been seriously damaged. We are doomed, then. Sooner or later, the warp will engulf this moon for good. I'm returning to my ship to deal with another urgent matter. Are you ready to join me? I cannot leave, Inquisitor. I took an oath, and I will not leave. The Inquisitorial ship is in orbit around the moon. 
If we don't surrender, they will purge my ship on charges of heresy. I don't understand. I've already warned them that we have an Inquisitor on board. I will talk to the Inquisitor in charge. What are you going to do? I can't engage a ship belonging to the Holy Ordos. The Inquisition is a colossal organization with several factions. It must be an unrelated operation. It happens. They must be investigating the warp anomaly. They have dispatched a dropship to the Cathedral as we speak. Interesting. Maybe it is not about the anomaly, but Uther's vestiges. I'll return to the moon. Inquisitor, you have returned to the Sepulchre. You are truly blessed with zeal and courage. I have no choice but to recover that relic before catastrophe strikes. You are running out of time. I will pray for you, Inquisitor. Inquisitor, you are interfering with my mission. I must command you to leave. I shall not. You will surrender, and I will take the vestiges. Your methods make a mockery of our sacred doctrines. I seriously doubt it. My investigation has been sanctioned by the Conclave since the earliest stages. Allow me to rephrase it for you. It has been sanctioned by Lord Maldor. But Lord Maldor is currently facing serious accusations. He is a man of grand delusions and questionable decisions. We simply cannot allow a relic of such importance to fall into the hands of someone who contradicts the purity of our dogma. I will not allow you to take this relic. This is my mission. This is my fate. You have left me no choice, Inquisitor. This is the tomb of Uther Tiberius. It is somewhat underwhelming. I finally have his rosette. But where is his body? We have never seen the body. We were sworn to protect the sacred relic alone. Even in his death, Uther Tiberius presents another mystery. You must leave, Inquisitor. Don't be concerned about me. I will stand guard here. What will happen to you? I will begin the most glorious task of my long servitude. I will keep watch on that gaping wound in the void. I will toll the bells and call our holy warriors here to fight the endless tides of destruction. May the Emperor give you strength, brother. I see festering nightmares walking the decks. Bloated bodies swollen with foul corruption. Creatures that no longer feel pain. The martyr is in danger. I must return immediately. Inquisitor, we have returned to the coordinates of the Martyr. I'm afraid there have been some troubling developments. Explain, Captain. We have detected a void ship in the service of Chaos near the Martyr. Sensorium data shows that Uther's monastery is teeming with the forces of Nurgle. This is not a raiding party, but a full-scale invasion, Inquisitor. What is your plan? The Martyr has become an infested war zone. I cannot open up the stasis chamber at the moment. It would be too hazardous. I will deal with Nurgle's filth first. Inquisitor, the Martyr has begun transmitting bursts of new spheric bleed. It is a call for help initiated by the Machine Spirit. The message asserts that the main cogitator room is under attack. Sequential shutdown in progress. Secondary computational litanies show an exponentially growing demonic presence on the ship. Unknown. I have arrived at the main cogitator room. Another burst of new 
Atmosphere bleed received. Decoder prayer wheels activated. Inquisitor, you have been granted access to the data crux in the main cogitator rumor. And what might that be? A data reliquary. High clearance information storage which can be opened exclusively by the Tiberius Rosette with the tag Alpha Subject. It sounds like the machine spirit is giving me access to the most important records on the Alpha Pariah. Indeed. The machine spirit has calculated the chances of a total system malfunction. It is 98.5% and growing. Secondary objective. I'm about to access that data crux. Tech Priest, I need you to activate your most complex security protocols. I will be transferring an extremely sensitive cogitator file. I have found something that could put the entire Alpha Pariah project into perspective. Secondary brain functions rerouted to execute holy chance of encryption. I also need an update on the current situation. Situation is critical. Sensors indicate a growing number of localized bursts of warp energies on the ship. Give me the location of the closest anomaly. Priest, you were right. The are destroying the Imperium seals. Destroyed seals are transforming into local warp gates. Explains the growing ratio of infestation. Must destroy them. Chances of successfully reducing the threat level on the entire ship have been reduced to 0.67%. That is not how you raise morale, Tech Priest. The Imperian seals form a complex matrix on the Martyr. The destruction of the seals fractured the matrix, releasing a constant tide of demons onto the ship. At this rate, the Martyr has an 87.67% chance of turning into a demon engine. I cannot allow a ship-sized demon engine to roam the sector. Destroying the pustules on this subdeck might buy you some extra time. Trust me, you will soon regret coming here, you fool. May I your manners, Inquisitor? I only want to talk and negotiate peacefully. You see, I have someone you might want to save. That is what your kind tends to do, correct? I have another worthless mongrel of your corpse, Emperor. An Inquisitor, you will have to die on this ship. You've captured Klosterheim. Why? What do you want? So, that would be his name. Your fellow agent is too talkative, you know. He only curses and screams while my sweet poison drips into his wounds, rotting his worthless flesh. But I digress. Come and meet me on subject beta 7. I'm looking forward to meeting you in person. Inquisitor, 
Are you absolutely certain about this? You will be walking into a trap. Of course it's a trap. It's like you lose that profit with a whole warband. You know these creatures better than me. You will do the same. By the Emperor, yes. Charge into the middle of that toxic, unholy gathering and smash them to bloody pieces. Absolutely. But I am Astartes. And I am an Inquisitor. Show fear and love. For I am what they fear. on that chaos ship. We are prepared for evasive maneuvers, but the ship has remained stationary. How did they find the Martyr at all? The ship was a nest of the and I have destroyed countless demons on the decks. All of them reformed in the war not long after their demise. And this has drawn the attention of their gods to the ship? Something like that, yes. It must have been enough to allow Nurgle's plague sorcerers to fight. Protocol. Active. Inadequate. Interface. It is an honor talking to you, Spirit of the Machines. The thing in the walls is stirring. What has been ensnared will be set free. You are speaking in riddles. I must know more. Every broken seal drains energy from the arcane technological security grid. The Prime Seal still contains the most powerful entity, the Thing. A thing in the walls? A demon that hunts the martyr? Alpha, subject, is in danger. System shut down in progress. Your tech priest asked me to convey a message. This is what I'm reduced to, an errand boy. He is analyzing the data source, you see. You do speak their language. Anyway, he asked me to warn you. 99.2% of the Empyrean seals have been corrupted by the plague-infested scum. Then the situation is really bad. The way I see it, it leaves you with a much easier task. Kill that prophet, destroy the warband, and get to the chamber. For the Emperor! To my humble abode, Inquisitor. The Prophet of Decay will grant you an audience now. What do you want, creature? Are you insane? You don't talk to them. You kill them. I have a problem. Unlike other simple-minded servants of the False Emperor, your Tiberius was bold enough to experiment beyond your foolish limitations. You are just babbling now. Right. Right. See, the heart of the unusual psychic barrier he created is a seal with one of us trapped inside. Even if I break all of the sigils, I still need his rosette to open up the prime seal. If you give me the key, I will return your laptop to you. Really? That was all you could offer? Why? I want to liberate the great one. I mean, you want that freak black soul in the chamber. You even get to save this nobody. Don't succumb, Inquisitor. Kill it, or let me die. I wasn't planning to negotiate with you, creature. But I always enjoy watching how your kind tries to lure victims with such weak attempts. Wonderful. I was planning to kill you anyway. 
Isn't it great that we can both stick to our traditions? I have failed the Emperor twice. First, I couldn't kill all of them. Secondly, I let them take me alive. Come with me to the Stasis Chamber. With the seals corrupted, the whole ship is danger. As far as I know, some of them are still intact in the Generatorum. I'll guard that area to buy you some time. The Emperor be with you. Join me in the Stasis Chamber when you are finished. Stasis chamber again. Cut through the chaos infestation and get to the psychic barrier. I'm on my way to the seals. Give them no quarter. Tech priest, I have found another one of those ancient cryptic The previous data cracks proved to be a highly valuable source of information. You should access it, Inquisitor. the data crux. Ready to inload data. This needs to remain confidential, Tech Priest. Understood, Inquisitor. Are you prepared for what is to come? I see that you have gained some control over these vessels. The thing in the walls is a trapped presence that has been haunting the martyr for centuries. I have been fighting it, but now, with the seals broken, it could be free. I will take care of this thing in the walls, whatever it is. I am ready to use the rosette on the psychic barrier. Magos, are you certain that this won't have grave consequences? The nature of the force field is beyond our expertise. However, if you have doubts about finding this alpha subject, we have analyzed all related data we have gained from the data crocs. Do you have any idea what she could be? Rest assured, she's a healthy specimen, both physically, mentally, and emotionally. I can't comment on her capabilities, though. What is happening? Imperian seal network collapsed. Barrier destroyed. But that wasn't supposed to happen. Correct. However, with 96.4% of the network destroyed, the barrier couldn't resist the burst generated by the rosette. And what exactly does that mean? Prime Seal has been destroyed. Stored demonic essence will be released. Are you telling me that by opening the barrier, I have unleashed that thing trapped on the ship? Correct. Sensors indicate a colossal amount of warp energy manifesting in the stasis chamber. I'll make the necessary preparations on the ship then before I enter. What do I have to do to wake up the Alpha Pariah from stasis? My understanding is that the stasis pods are stored in a colossal shaft. You must activate the retrieval mechanism at the cogitator first. I'll guide you through the rest after that. But there is something else. What is it? In loaded schematics, place a room near you as Uther's meditational chamber. I will take a look at it first. Uther's experiments, the mysterious origins of the Pariah, the prophecy. I have bad feelings about this. I need more information. Did you find anything interesting, Inquisitor? That would be an understatement. I wish we could discuss that without it leading to an immediate mind wipe. Wise thinking. I'm on my way to the Cogitator. I'm at the Cogitator. Our serfs digested the data pulp from the Uther's Cogitators, and we have the registry number for the pod. I will call it up immediately. And then? The pod will be transferred to the Chamber of Awakenings. 
How long will all that take? The servitors will start the necessary protocols. They also provide clothes and rejuvenating tinctures for the subject. It will take some time, though. I don't really have much time, Magos. It is true. The readings from the stasis chamber are extremely disturbing. The fluctuation of warp energies indicates a greater manifestation. Emperor, grant me strength during my greatest battle. The seals are thrumming with sheer warp energy. What is happening? The armor Mariah is real, and she is in danger. I'm on my way back to you. Inquisitor. I need time to evaluate the implications. And with the greater demon gone, a part of a Chaos God has been destroyed forever. Soon she will be the most sought-after individual in the galaxy. Who are you? 
Where am I? I am an Inquisitor of the Holy Ordos. I've been looking for you for a very long time. You are safe. Do you know who you are? I... I don't know. I... I don't remember. Did I just kill this creature? You are the greatest weapon in the history of mankind, and you need to be protected at all costs. I can sense the power in me, but I can't control it. What is happening to me? Believe me, you are special. You can change the future of the Imperium, for better or worse. Klosserheim, what are you doing with her? Accept my apologies, my mentor. We all have our roles to play, and you have fulfilled your destiny. Now she needs my protection. Open that door now! Don't you see that there is no one you can trust? Puritans or radicals, they are nothing but babbling fools. They would kill her, or lock her away without using her powers for the Imperium. This is heresy! This is what Uther Tiberius wanted. I will protect her until she can fulfill her true potential. Trust me, the day will come when she leads our glorious armies into the warp. You have no power over this ship! Quite the contrary. While you were away, I convinced the machine's spirit that it was for this exact turn of events that Uther created it. You will die out there! I'm ready for the sacrifice it takes. The Emperor protects, Inquisitor. Now you should leave. Decrease. I want a location for Klosterheim, immediately! Time is running out. The Inquisitor has gained access to the navigational systems. The Marta has turned on the warp engines. Gala shields are still compromised. I don't care! There is a 78.3% chance that warp travel will kill you. Then we will all die! Collated data indicates that the proximity of the Alpha subject could protect the Inquisitor. It won't protect you. Curses be upon you, Klosterheim. Inquisitor, you have returned. What happened? I found the Alpha Pariah. The greatest mystery that this sector has ever produced. And I had to let her go. The Martyr is preparing to enter the warp. Is the Alpha Pariah dead? The Alpha Pariah is very much alive. She is still under Uther's protection, in a way. What happens now? I have a strong suspicion that we have not heard the last of her. She has a grand destiny to fulfill. By the Emperor, I hope she will be the flame that will purge the filth of chaos from this universe. Inquisitor, we have received word from various rogue trader contacts in the Atroxia subsector that an ancient battered fortress monastery has been spotted in the Draco system at various times. It is refusing to answer all hailing. By the Emperor, the Martyr has returned from the warp. This is colossal news, Captain. I wanted to make sure that it was not a false alarm, but all subsequent astropathic messages confirm that it is indeed the Martyr docking at Port Valentius. Star map has been updated with the coordinates. We have no time to lose then. This is my chance to shed light on the true mystery of the Alpha Pariah. If she is still alive.
Tech Priest, this Imperial facility has been abandoned for a very long time. Are you certain the Alpha Pariah is here? The data burst from the Machine Spirit was an emergency signal. The Alpha Pariah left the Martyr to follow an unidentified Vox transmission originating from these coordinates. I need more information on this place. Cursory data siphoning reveals that the Deeds of Foundation bear the seal of Uther Tiberius. This must have been one of his secret hideouts, designated to aid his pilgrimage to the Caligari Sector. Did the Martyr follow the ancient protocols? Tagged as speculation. Suggestion. Revert to priority assignment. Humans, no corner of the galaxy is free from their unfortunate existence. I assume this one is with the Harbinger too. I am an Inquisitor of Holy Terror. Explain your presence here. Tell me, human, do you speak the language of dream riddles and dead gods? Enough of this babble. Answer my question. I thought so, monkey. You wouldn't understand our purpose here, not even if I wanted to answer your question. But I don't. Interesting. Most Eldare either live on their star-faring craft worlds or sail as Corsairs. These are proven facts. My point is that these Eldar don't look like Corsairs. So what are they doing here? And they are showing more hostility towards the Imperium than usual. Analysis shows that their tribal heraldry is unique. These Eldar specimen don't belong to any craft world listed in the folios of the Unholy in the ship databanks. I must investigate these Xenos, but the Alpha Pariah is the priority. Exloading the coordinates of the Sensorium to your data slate. Access the surveillance system there. It could provide information on the Alpha Pariah and the Xenos presence. Cortical Lexicana module has flagged an important information. Supplementary notes on the Eldar suggest that some of them might carry memory crystals, used for information storage. That could be useful. I will examine the bodies. You were right, Tech Priest. How could I access the contents of this crystal? Secondary analytical coils activated. Converting and exloading data to your data slate now. Tech Priest, I want you to dig deep into the Ordos records on the Aldare in this subsector. Any expanded search parameters? I need information on the craft world Tuathol and the planet Loriac. You are authorized to use my temporary override codes. I must know why these Eldar hate the Imperium so much. I have been compiling information on the craft world from the memory crystal. A summary will suffice. Tuathel is a minor craft world, primarily roaming in the Caligari sector. This Aeldari megastructure has been constantly succumbing to a significant chaos infection that is gradually turning it inhabitable. The Tuathel Aeldari have been slowly abandoning the infected craft world, relocating to the maiden worlds in the sector. This is what I have for now. Keep me updated. I have begun gathering information on the recent history of Maiden World Loriach. Proceed, Negos. Most of the information is classified, but it seems that after the recent Tyranid High Fleet was destroyed in the subsector, a substantial number of the surviving Xenox attacked the Tuathel Maiden World and tried to assimilate the local biomass. Interesting. I have a situation here, Negos. We will resume shortly. Inquisitor, the contents of the memory crystal suggest an explanation for the hatred of the craft world Elder. There is no acceptable explanation for turning against the Imperium. But carry on. 
The Tuathal Eldar requested assistance from the Imperium when their maiden world succumbed to the Tyranid invasion, but soon Forge World intercepted the message. The Adeptus Mechanicus decided to purge the Tyranid threat in their own jurisdiction and ordered a full-scale exterminatus on the Eldari world. Sometimes one can only shudder at the cold logic of Adeptus Mechanicus operations. Loriach has become a barren wasteland, devoid of all life. These Eldari on their dying craft world lost their last hope of escape from their demise. They blame the Imperium for their fate. The Tech Priest is skimming through the personal logs in the Tech Priest data hoard from the facility. Has he found out anything interesting so far? He highlighted a few curious details. After the excommunication of Uther Tiberius, the place was investigated thoroughly and used by the Inquisition. After a fatal chaos incursion, it was abandoned on the order of the Caligari Conclave. Which means that the Eldar didn't attack the station. No, they just took possession of the facility. The Harbinger is still in the Human Shrine. I need to return there immediately. The spirit stones of our brothers and sisters are empty husks. How is this even possible? The Harlequin warned us, and foolishly we ignored her words. I will deal with the Harbinger. You stand guard here. We have a new intruder. Terminal to open surveillance mode and restore power to the facility. I have located the Alpha Pariah. She is on Shrine Level Alpha 4. I need to return to the ship. Then I will find her. Power has been restored on all levels. Good. Inquisitor, the Argus are detecting significant hostile forces on this level. Are you absolutely sure you want to go in alone? I can't allow the Xenos to take the Alpha Pariah. Knowing what I do about her, it could have catastrophic consequences. I have noticed a sudden swarm of cherubim. What is happening, Magos? By restoring the power grid, you have activated the local Cherub Shrine. Are these Cherubim performing surveillance on this level? This is their standard behavior pattern after an extended hibernation cycle. If I may give you some advice, you can access the information gathered at the Cherubim Shrine. Good. It would be useful to know more about the Eldar forces before barging in. You have reached the main chair of mainframe, Inquisitor. I want to see what those constructs have reported since they woke up. This fate resonates in the future. We're at the crossroads, where oblivion moves close. The one who sees his own doom can better avoid its path. Spare me. She is dangerous. If we choose poorly, not even the Whispering God can save us. She is magnificent, isn't she? Like the death of a son. Her sheer existence fills me with revulsion. But still, she is just a monkey and a weapon waiting to be used. Quite the contrary. She has finally taken the stage. Everything will unfold from here. Then we should play our parts too. Warriors, proceed!
Analysis. The Alpha subject has been manifesting powers currently unlisted in the classified Psyker Index. This must be another manifestation of the unique abilities I witnessed on the Martyr. I must secure her immediately. This is Inquisitor Kraybart speaking on behalf of the Ordo Hereticus of the Holy Inquisition. We have received your code red astropathic transmission, and our fleet is calculating arrival vector as we speak. Prepare to join our forces shortly. Reinforcements are almost there. Why don't you just wait for them? The Alpha Pariah has no control of her abilities, and she will react to danger fiercely. And the Ordo Hereticus are not famous for their patience. Are you trying to flee the mayhem of your own doing? I am nothing but an observer of the unfolding tragedy. Stop speaking in riddles. What tragedy? The Harbinger was brought into existence for a reason. She is either the fall or the last hope of your misguided kind. Is she now? Tell me everything about the Alpha Pariah, or I will kill you. You have no sense of timing, human. We will meet again at a more suitable place and time. What in the name of the Emperor was that creature? An Eldar Harlequin. They are fierce warriors who turned war into an art form. They are agile, enigmatic, and fearsome enemies. The persistence of your kind, Monkey, almost makes you interesting. I will not rest until I have secured the Imperial subject. Why? She is unnatural. She is everything we both consider repugnant. And that is totally irrelevant to the situation. Still, you don't need to be concerned about her. We will need her alive. to those elder yes i saw it you did what you had to do why have you come back for me i thought you had abandoned me i only left the martyr because i had no choice but the machine spirit reached out to me it is still protecting you and what if i want to stay here will you kill me then are you not even curious about what you really are don't you want to know what you could become that's all I've ever wanted. But you didn't answer my question. It was a foolish question, and you don't want to hear the answer. But follow me, and we may achieve great things. I'll go with you. I don't feel I have any choice, anyway. What happened to Lord Inquisitor Klosterheim? I... I don't know. Before we arrived here, there was a period of madness and nightmares. He was battling demons on the ship. Then he was gone. Or it was just a mad dream. But he is still gone. Inquisitor Kraybart, you may be relieved to know that I have completed my mission. Without your assistance. We expected no less of you. However, I demand that you cease your involvement in this matter and place the martyr and that alpha pariah into Ordo Hereticus custody. I will do no such thing, Inquisitor Kraybart. I have started this investigation, and I intend to finish it. Other Tiberius was a heretic. The Malta has clearly been a hotbed of heretical activity. This is Ordo Hereticus jurisdiction, and we will purge every last hall of that accursed ship. The decks are swarming with daemons. Are you prepared to start a jurisdictional dispute with the Ordo Malaeus as well? I don't like your tone, Inquisitor. Not one bit. We could make a compromise. I can give up the investigation on the Martyr, but the Alpha subject is the most intriguing asset for the Imperium we've had. 
I must study her abilities. I usually don't compromise, but considering your stellar achievements in the fight against heresy, I am willing to make an exception. I sense a but coming. But we might need your help as well. A sudden outbreak of potentially chaos-related infestation on Cascadia Prime requires attention. We need our forces on the Martyr. If you are willing to investigate the infestation, you can take the Alpha subject with you. The Martyr cannot leave this system, though. I can accept that compromise. Inquisitor, you promised me answers. Then you put me in another prison cell. You are free to wander the vessel. Right, so I'm allowed to leave this ship, where everyone is horrified or disgusted by me for reasons I don't even understand. You are the subject of a highly classified inquisitorial investigation, and you must be kept under constant surveillance. So a prisoner? What have I done to deserve such fate? You have done nothing wrong. Yet. However, Tiberius abandoned you before you could perfect and expand your talents. Therefore, you pose a potential threat. I don't know anything about that. I just have this energy inside me, squeezing, stretching, sometimes snapping, and then bad things happen. Like when the martyr arrived at that fort. What happened? I was in a haze. I remember that the talking flesh servants on the walls were screaming at me to hide, but I couldn't. And those elder came for me. Then I woke up properly and made them hurt. We will study your abilities properly. I will make sure that you only use them when it is necessary. Inquisitor, I have completed the preliminary tests on the samples from the Cascada Prime. The results are fascinating. Fascinating has different meanings for each of us. I will need more samples. The plague is clearly of warp origin, most probably caused by an as yet unrecorded pathogen. The infection is spreading like wildfire through the hive. The mutant scum and the treacherous cultists have already begun exploiting the situation, leading an open rebellion. According to Vox reports, the local enforcers have been overwhelmed, but there is an operational Astra Militarum outpost in the vicinity. Affirmative. I will take over command. The area has been secured. Apologies for ruining the moment of victory, but the sensors show large forces headed towards you. Is the local Vox station still operational? According to the readings, it is. Logren of the 12th Cascadian Regiment reporting for duty. At ease, Captain. I need an update on the situation in the Hive. It is really bad, Inquisitor. The Upper Hive has been overrun by these insane freaks. We have entire zones, dead and silent, that have entirely succumbed to this unholy plague. Gather your forces, Captain, and assist me. The Emperor will guide us through these tribulations, Captain. Ready to fight! I need your opinion on those unholy outbursts. The growth from the cadavers look post-mortem, probably organic viral transmitters. My theory is that the pustules are emitting gaseous pathogens to hasten up the spreading of the plague. Soldiers need in this situation. 
The plague is indeed the result of an artificially created mutagenic pathogen of Nurgle. Only a very powerful entity of chaos is capable of creating something like that. The analysis of the patterns verified my theory. The outbreak originated from a specific location in this lower hive. Send me the coordinates. But first, we need to purge this area. Otherwise, this hive is doomed. The afflicted section has been cleared. I will return to the ship before heading into the bowels of the city. May I remind you that as long as the pathogen remains virulent in the host population, your achievement will be temporary. When I burn out the source of this blasphemous plague, the Aphysio Medicae can deal with the survivors. something that could tell me more about this plague. The entity that orchestrated this outbreak might still be on this world. Perhaps you should evaluate the option to capture it alive, Inquisitor. Always on the hunt for forbidden knowledge, right, Magos? We know that the Alpha Pariah has the unique ability to completely destroy daemons instead of simple banishment. But we have no idea how that works. True. The data we have on her abilities is scarce, and her previous encounter with a greater demon on the Martyr could be an anomaly. That is why I want her to join me on the chaos-infested world during my mission. Her powers could purge the infestation. You are experimenting with a live subject, Inquisitor. An idea worthy of a tech priest. Sometimes you need to resort to unorthodox methods, I suppose. I will prepare the Alpha Subject and have the Teleportarium ready when you call for her. The time has come for you to join me on a priority mission. It is time to test your abilities and determination. Before I say anything, what am I supposed to do? We will enter a hive in the thralls of a chaos infestation. I want you to employ your powers to put an end to that foul contamination. No! Absolutely not! I lived through that nightmare countless times! Walls thick with muck, the shambling shadows on the corridors, the growling of those creatures. No! Your fear of chaos is understandable, but you are far from defenseless. And this was not a request, by the way. Are you willing to kill me if I disobey? Or am I too valuable for that? I would do anything in my power to save the Imperium from destruction. Would you? I would. But you must know that I am truly terrified. What if I lose control over my powers? You will not. This is why we need to test your abilities out there. You are right. I think. Yes, I will accompany you. are approaching the site where the plague originated. Beware, the sensors are indicating increasing warp activity in the area. Splendid. This Nurgle infestation is a gift that keeps on giving. In any case, it is the perfect opportunity to test the Alpha Pariah's unique abilities. I don't even know what I should do. Just do whatever you have already done several times when you try to protect yourself. Regarding your uncertainties, I wonder why Uther Tiberius didn't train you properly. Uther was a genius, but also a terrible mentor. If it helps, I incline to avoid his mistakes. It helps a little. Yes. It was a bold choice to bring me here. Has it occurred to you that maybe you are the one who should be afraid of me? Are you threatening me? I'm just pointing out the fact that I have no control over my abilities. That's all. It 
It is time. Unleash your powers on the Horde. Are you sure you want me to do this? This is your destiny. This is what you are. Should you fail to comply, you will probably die. It is... too much. I don't know if I can control it. Yes, I can do this. Perish! By the Emperor. Her powers are definitely growing, but she has no control over her abilities. Tech Priest, I need her back on the ship now. Experiencing recurring calibration problems. Warp anomalies combined with the subject's distortion field are hindering return teleportation. This location is extremely unsafe for her. Correct. Sensors indicate large hostile forces inbound. I need the Space Marine down here. You can send him down here, right? It was wise of you to call for me, Inquisitor. No one will withstand my righteous fury. Try to keep your head clear, for Focus on the protection of the Alpha Mariah. Her survival is paramount. Rest assured, not a single abomination will live long enough to get to her. Why haven't you evacuated the Alpha Pariah yet? Calibrating teleportarium sequences. Chance of failure calculated unacceptable. Suggestion. Nullify the source of Imperium fluctuations. That was hardly a revelation. Find a solution. Tell me, Inquisitor, is this young woman really worth all this trouble? Not that I need any excuse to kill the villain. Just wondering. She is an Imperial citizen, Thorn, and a very important one to that. She is also a pariah. And I just can't help feeling instant, deep revulsion when I'm around her. Not to mention her natural powers. She can destroy demons, Thorn. The galaxy is burning. Those powers are the most valuable assets we have ever had against the ruinous powers. Calibration complete. Estimated chances of successful teleportation are currently at 95%. And what happens to the Sergeant and the Alpha Pariah in the case of an unsuccessful teleport? Their physical bodies will disintegrate. Regarding the spiritual component, you can access reference material flagged as unconfirmed. If we lose the Pariah due to a faulty teleport, there will be consequences. Do you see how fragile your master's so-called Imperium is? How imperfect you all are! This insight is a gift from our benefactor. Who would that be? Another pitiful traitor yearning for vengeance on his former kind? Alas! I cannot share his name with you, but rest assured, his genius will turn the Caligari Sector into the most beautiful garden of Nurgle. Not on my watch. I will burn out this rot with the sacred fire of the Emperor. Such fervor! A true pity that I must kill you so abruptly. Why not? Your flesh will spawn wonderful gifts for the Grandfather. By the Emperor, the Primogenitor. Inquisitor, I've been expecting you. I'm truly disappointed, though, that you came alone. Spare me the grand monologue, you abomination. I've been hunting your kind for a long time, but I never dared to hope that the Dark Gods would send me the one who has the Alpha Pariah. <laughs> Tell me, where is she now? 
I'd suggest you prepare for more disappointment, creature. The Anasima Ultima! The Alpha Subject! Call her whatever you want, but she is mine! I have been trying to reclaim my precious experiment. Since that perfidious Tiberius cheated her out of my hands! You might begin to see a pattern here. Oh no! I will take you alive, Inquisitor. We will experiment, you and I, to see where the threshold of suffering lies for you. Then you will be ready to denounce your master and beg for my forgiveness. <laughs> Existence is a curse upon this world. Judgment will finally find you. Another Inquisitor? <laughs> this plan seems to be working splendidly, if I do say so myself. For your innumerable crimes, your sentence is death. Delivered here and now. You are wasting the dwindling resources of your pathetic Imperium. I am one of many. Even if you succeeded, you would accomplish nothing. But you won't. Lies upon lies. The judgment of the Emperor is upon you, heretic. Inquisitor, next time I expect you to bring what belongs to me. Until then... <laughs> Set me up, Inquisitor. What's worse, you have risked an extremely important Imperial asset. I should bring this to the Conclave. Spare me the indignation. My order knew that Fabius Bile is here in the Caligari sector, and we have been hunting for that traitor for a very long time. And from your perspective, the demise of Bile is the ultimate priority. Obviously. Appreciate the irony, Inquisitor. Bile set a trap for us that we used to entrap Bile. And still, he escaped. I strongly advise that you refrain from using the Alpha Pariah as a bait in the future. Inquisitor, we have a breach on the lower levels. We are under attack by a Dark Elder raiding party. The Drakari? Cowardly marauders attacking an Inquisitorial ship? It is strange indeed. But right now, my main concern is that my ship is crawling with sadistic Xenos pirates. Calm down. I will show them the error of their ways. The tech priest has stationed a host of combat servitors on the decks. The automator will slow them down, but only temporarily. I'm on my way. I will take Thorn with me. I'm beginning to appreciate the persistence of these Dark Elder. They give me ample opportunity to strike fear into their rotten hearts. The Drukhari breached Section Theta-7, so they will have to cut through here on their way to the vaults. Well, they can try. There is a maintenance hole ahead. We can take up defensive positions there. We are in position. Your usual subtle tactics will suffice, Sergeant, I suppose. We really shouldn't overcomplicate these matters. I will heap the corpses high as a tribute to the Emperor. Looks like your wish will be granted. We should expect several waves of hostiles. Those were the homunculi. 
I wasn't expecting to see the Drukhari marshal their most terrible abominations against us. They are insane flesh soldiers and depraved torturers. Beasts most foul. That was an almost admirable display of cruelty and destruction for an inferior creature. I wish I had time to shake you into a more suitable form. You still need to prove yourself to your master with gifts. Because Stark is the most dreadful marauder in these systems, but he is not my master. He is a generous patron. But where is the leader? I want to tear that cowardly worm apart. The dreadful marauder didn't want to get his hands dirty. Ah, uh, what else would you expect from a Drukhari? Inquisitor, bioscans are complete. The remaining Xenos invaders have been located. Very well. They deserve a proper lesson for their arrogance. The Drukhari should have avoided this ship. Now. They will learn their lesson. Your last ring, Kari. You should have fled again to kill the precious fortune. Ah, you were not that precious. A small price to pay for the entity you found. Prepare for your judgment. Tell me, was it worth it? Your small-mindedness is astonishing, wretched creature. But what would you know about finding a true purpose in your miserable short? The arrival of the Anathema has been foretold. How did they know about the Alpha Pariah? It is indeed a most pressing question. We cannot leave her unguarded. The Drukhari have proven that they are the masters of ambush and they can strike with their cloaked vessels from the webway. From now on, you are on constant guard duty, Sergeant. Understood, Inquisitor. Although I still believe you could benefit more from my presence on the field of battle. As per your request, I have executed thorough analytical sermons, focusing on the Alpha Subject's mental stability. Give me a brief update. The Alpha Subject seems to bear the traces of deep mental conditioning, most probably conducted during her early sessions with Uther Tiberius. Does that affect her abilities? Probably not. Her will is adamant, but it might result in erratic behavior, which is quite a risk with her capabilities. Inquisitor, there is an astropathic message for you from an agent of the Ordo Xenos. The embedded emotional markings indicate that it is urgent. Inquisitor. I am Inquisitor Theodon Mercer of the Ordo Xenos, currently stationed on Heliodor IV, vigorously protecting the Inquisitorial Archives, with special regard to the sensitive materials stored in the vaults. I will cut to the chase. I urgently need your help. You are probably wondering why I have contacted you, and rightly so. The facility where I am holed up is under the attack by the two of Fall Aldari, if I am not mistaken. You have already made their acquaintance. They are looking for classified Ordos material on... How shall I put it? On the unique presence you have on your ship. I hope I have your interest now. Help me out and I can promise you the answers you seek. I also have Amasek and cigars. The Emperor protects. How can this Inquisitor know about the Alpha Pariah? I have no idea. He left me no choice, though. I must find this Mercer and talk to him. Captain, this world is fighting off an Eldar invasion. The epicenter of this incursion is the Holy Archives of the Inquisition. Inquisitor Mercer, as the appointed guardian, must be there. Something is causing severe interference in the target zone. We are trying, but the others are not functioning. Whatever is causing the interference must be deactivated first. Electro anomalies are emanating from an unidentified piece of Xenos technology located in a wave circuit. That must be the source of the interference. Inquisitor, a nice 
nice of you to join me in this scuffle. You have a knack for sending intriguing emergency messages. Why did the Eldar attack an Inquisitorial Archive? The Eldari seem to be displaying great interest in certain documents. The Eldar brought the entire army just for some records. Well, you can't really blame them for a few theatrics. Feel free to blame them for anything else, though. Or they are trying to find some highly classified material. Look, you have my full cooperation. But how about helping me out first? I've never been one for Grand Heroics, but soon I'll be out of options. I have your location now. On my way. Ready to fight. Tell me, how does an Ordo Xenos agent end up guarding the archives on a backwater world? I'm supervising the rituals of preservation for classified data. So you have been reprimanding. Why? If I recall Lord Maldor's exact words, from being a reckless idiot who needs to learn the merits of patience. Alas, the rest is classified. Inquisitors could not be ordered around so Trust me, if your only alternative is excommunication, you will become quite cooperative. The Eldare are using their webway gate to move in their forces. My professional advice would be to blow it to cinders, but it's your call, obviously. What a novel idea. That's why we need a Xenos expert on the team, I suppose. I'm glad that we at least shared a vice of sarcasm. Die, Mag, it's done. Webway gate has been destroyed. How marvelous. No reinforcements for a while, then. I've located and secured the entrance to the archives. Feel free to visit me in my humble abode, then. I will join you shortly, Inquisitor Mercer. By all means. I don't want to force your hand, but my soldiers were overrun and the Aldari are closing in on the data vaults. I'll try my best to slow down this deranged farseer, but some help would be appreciated. Afraid I'm fresh out of Hammer's second cigars. But I have a new Aldari contingent moving in for all your entertainment needs. These Eldar seem really persistent. It's time to combine our forces. My thoughts exactly. Tell me more about these Eldar invaders. They have arrived with a fairly substantial force, I'm afraid. The Farseer will resort to his favorite tactics, and use Wraith Constructs to get to the Data Vault. You sound like you know him very well. Actually, we go way back. And in case you wondered, yes, his heartwarming visit is related to that unique person on your ship. That is all classified. You should have informed me about the Farseer's information. Have you ever tried making conversation with a Farseer? It's like interpreting a fever dream. I didn't even realize what his words meant at the time. We are in time. The turrets are still operational. That's a relief. Considering my history with the Conclave, I wouldn't want to have to explain the destruction of the Data Vault to them. I am so baffled as to why the Eldar dedicated such efforts to invading this place. They must think that they'll find something here they can use to save their craft world. You must not forget that the Eldari are a dying race, clinging to every shred of hope. You are demonstrating almost alarming levels of empathy. You seem quite flamboyant for hating the Holy Orders. What can I say? I have spent decades in disguise as the rogue trader captain of the good ship Storm Skipper. And certain things will rub off. What exactly? Navigation I'm quite proud of my meticulous paperwork. And I can always find a great inn in any void port. Inquisitor. I wish to report.
out for duty. We must defend the sacred archives from the Xeno scum. Your primary objective hasn't changed, Sergeant. Must protect the Alpha Pariah. With all due respect, Inquisitor, I feel that we are wasting my potential here. But I will obey. So this is their target. This data vault stores classified inquisitorial records. Judging by the classification entries, the dossier on the Martyr investigation could also be here. The Eldar must have been trying to locate the Martyr. I'd rather put it differently. They have been, definitely, after the Alpha Pariah. It's possible. She could be the most potent tool for cleansing of their investigative craftwork. Absolutely. Therefore, they will not retreat until their Farseer is dead. Inquisitor Mercer, fate has brought us together again. I wish we had met under different circumstances. This is the path we must walk, and it ends here for one of us. Before I become part of the Infinity Circuit, you must know something. You could begin with the truth. We never wanted to harm that unique individual. We only wanted to take her to our craft world. You wanted to cleanse your dying world? That is our only purpose. Why did you need these Imperial Archives? I have no interest in your petty secrets. But I saw that you would come. You, the key to the Anathema Ultima. The Harlequin warned us not to take this path, but we didn't have any choice. What can you tell me about the Harlequin? She cannot be trusted. She has her own agenda. She walks the seventh path. Her fate is linked to the Whispering One. I have answered your plea and launched a rescue operation to save you. You still owe me some answers about the Alpha Pariah. I'll be completely honest with you. I can't answer your questions. Wait! Don't do anything impulsive. I know someone who can help you. And who would that be? A Harlequin. You'll be pleased to hear that you have already met her. You are playing a dangerous game here, Inquisitor. This is not a game, and we both know the Harlequins hold the key to many secrets. I'm talking about the fabled Black Library, of course. The source of all ancient and forbidden knowledge. The existence of the library is known only to a few Eldar, and even fewer are allowed to enter. The Harlequins are the exception. See? It was worth hearing me out. I don't like the way you've set me up, Inquisitor. But I need answers. Do you happen to know where I can find this Harlequin? As a matter of fact, I do. On the planet Loriach. The exterminated maiden world of Craftworld Tuathal? One of the few truly charming corners of the subsector. I can only imagine. That is my next destination, then. Careful down there, Inquisitor. The world is crawling with Tyranids. My main concern is not those Xenos, but another one in particular. Are you certain that the Harlequin will be here? I am, as much as one can be certain about Harlequins. But I know her, and I'm confident in your meter. It is surprisingly quiet at the moment. The Tyranids are hibernating, but trust me, your arrival will stir them up mightily. A precise and surgical strike is what I need now. Send me the coordinates of the Harlequin. There are three webway gates in the area. The Harlequin could be near any of them. I'm still perplexed by the ferociousness of the Tyranids without their hive fleet. It is indeed remarkable. The Xenos recognize the futility of a full-scale invasion and use the available biomass to infect as many planets as they could. Still, eventually they were purged by the Imperium. Not entirely. 
After the Tyranids had scattered their forces, isolated diaspores were able to survive eradication. Mostly on the more backwater planets. How's that saying go about plans extending beyond contact with the enemy? Well, it happens. If the surgical strike does not work, we can always try brute force. Inquisitor, I have troubling news. Judging by the Argo reconnaissance, the entire area is showing Tyranid activity on immense scale. That might be problematic. Sounds like I have to face a Xenos army. May I make a proposal? Why don't we recruit Noble Sakaradoc, the pilot of a Crimson Wanderer again? It is a sound idea, Captain, but he could be anywhere in the sector. I rarely say this, Inquisitor Mercer, but considering the fate of this world, I'm beginning to understand why you treat the Altare as potential allies. We fear the alien, and for a very good reason. But sometimes, you need to recognize that some of them are waging the same hopeless war for existence in a hostile galaxy that we are. Inquisitor Mercer, do you have any idea what the Harlequin is trying to achieve on an infested planet? First of all, it used to be their world. I'd say the Eldar regard it as their world still. Harlequins are attracted to the sights of great tragedies. What is so unique about this planet? This used to be an Eldari maiden world, and a hub in the webway. Numerous gates are still intact. So, she can dance between the webway and real space. A perfect hideout for a Harlequin. beginning to see why the threat of the isolated Tyranid diaspora has led the endeavors of the to order external knowledge. Yes, that was the sad fate of this maiden world. The current situation proves, though, that even an exterminatus might not be enough. What is more disturbing is that this proves that this particular hive mind acted like a highly intelligent being and used cold logic. We must talk, Harlequin. Seriously this time. I have fought my way here. No, human. You have barely started fighting. The true battle only begins now. My tolerance for your riddles has not increased greatly since last time. Still, you are exactly where you need to be. Not far from here, upon the plains of despair, where the towers no longer sing laments, lies the ruin of the Shrine of the Prophecy. I've warned you about talking in riddles, haven't I? Your kind call it the Viserum Prophecy. That is where the corrupted wanderer, the one you call Uther Tiberius, followed the same visionary words. Tell me about the Shrine. Why? You would not understand it. The Shrine holds great power, which is why the Devourers are drawn to it. I will lead you there once the path is clear. And if I refuse to play my part in your wicked theatrics? Then the Nexus will open, and its purple gaze will fall upon your falling empire, Inquisitor. You sound just as insane as I thought. However, I have an idea about that swarm. I will join you in the endless dance of death after you have walked through fire and flames. I have good news. The Free Blade Knight is awaiting deployment against the Tyranids, and Sir Ambrose Caradoc is currently reciting the prayers of sacred recalibration in the hangar. That zone is the epicenter of the infestation. He needs to be prepared. Another heroic quest to cull the enemies of mankind. Glory to the Emperor! I admire your sense of dedication, but focus on your mission. The threat you are about to face is immense. What else would a solitary knight seek, if not a relentless battle, and a victory against all the odds? The zone of your current engagement is swarming with Tyranids. 
I must also warn you about the venomous clouds obstructing large areas. Trust me and the Crimson Wanderer, my brother in battle. I am not your battle brother, sir, but I wish you a good fight. You must clear the entire area so the Inquisitor can proceed to the target location. are reporting new activity. The massacre has drawn out the Synapse creature as expected. My experience in Xenos matters is limited to fighting them, Inquisitor. Is this development good or bad? It is quite subjective, I'm afraid. You will be facing a truly monstrous creature. However, it also possesses a psychic power that unites the Tyranids of this swarm. So killing it makes them lose control. But that is great news! The more dangerous the opponent, the more glorious the victory! May I remind you that you have only gained temporary respite by eliminating the Synapse creature. The Tyranids are still unorganized, but soon another organism will replace the original Synapse creature. I have no time to lose then. I must locate that Aldare shrine immediately. Closing in on the shrine. The architectural components of the nearby ruins are consistent with our records on spiritual Aldari structures. I'm convinced that it has become the lair of something much more materialistic. Bioscanners indicate the approach of psi-active organisms, probably inbound from the adjacent zone. So it is then just a lull. I'd better get ready for them there. The last act in this grand tragedy will soon unfold, human. Are you willing to take the stage? I must warn you that to manipulate an Inquisitor is not the brightest idea, Eldar. Always so furious. So short-sighted. I am not your weak-willed subordinate. Insolence! You have clearly betrayed me! This stone once absorbed the soul of a seer. The greatest Pathfinder in the Garden of Ever-Changing Roads. I need it. We need it to walk the Seventh Path. This is the first Curio of Fate I need. Are you willing to cooperate? 
on one condition. What would that be? You really, really need to survive your next battle. I've promised you answers, human. So, you will have your answers. Did you lead me here on purpose? I might have manipulated you to help me take the spirit stone from this scorched pit of despair our planet has become. Yes. Did you lie about everything? The prophecy? The Alpha Pariah? I cannot lie. My role forbids it. Your Inquisitor brother knows that. That's why you were sent here. Clever, clever Mercer. I weave my words too carefully for lies. Enough of this. Do you know the answer to my question or not? There is a place deep within the maze that spreads between the real space and the warp. And in the heart of that living, twisting labyrinth lies the Black Library. You are stalling again. I'm losing patience with you, Eldar. The library is a repository of forbidden knowledge. A vast collection of books still unwritten or lost forever. And I stole the prophecy from its darkest vaults. You had it the entire time? I told you I didn't lie. Take the prophecy. It is yours. I swear that's the last time I deal with the Eldari. What do you make of this ancient prophecy, Magos? The tech priest considers it pure Xenox nonsense. My opinion is more nuanced. But I can't see any practical use for it either. You are being too harsh. The prophecy alludes to certain facts that we know are valid. You are willing, then, to accept the existence of a million-year-old artifact created by a race long extinct that somehow had knowledge of the birth of beings like her. Uther's research was based on ancient Fabricatus technology. The existence of the Alpha Pariah could easily be the result of this prophecy. In that case, the Pariah needs the artifact to control her powers and fulfill her true potential. Otherwise, she presents grave danger to everyone. Do you have a destination for me? I have faced some daunting tasks, but finding an unknown artifact created by a long extinct race sounds impossible. The Tech Priest has scoured the available Inquisitorial archive of classified data troves. Nothing. Luckily, we have an acquaintance who knows his way around the system. Are you referring to Nathaniel Grexus, the resourceful rogue trader captain with a shady past? In his youth, Grexus made a fortune as a trader in Xenos relics. He has abandoned that particular career since then, but he must have kept his contacts. I suppose you might have an idea as to his whereabouts. We have exchanged messages recently. He was on his way to the mining world Arcadus. Then we will follow him. You will surely be glad to see us. The Tech Priest has sent out several Scryer Skulls. We have a hit on Grexus. And what is our old friend doing here, exactly? May I hazard a guess? Old Nathaniel Grexus must be quite busy with one of his suspicious deals. This area is a hideout for rebellious deserters. Whatever he is doing here, I will most certainly not approve. Are you willing to face an army of rebels? They will have a chance to show penitence. We have the picked feed from the Scryer Skulls. You have betrayed me, you filthy rat! First, call me a rat again and I will break your jaw. Secondly, I have no idea what you're talking about. Really? An Imperial agent has landed in the zone? Tell me it was not you. Don't you dare pin this on me, you scoundrel. Snitches like you deserve death. But we can use 
use you as a hostage. Lads, watch this filth while I deal with this mess. <sighs> Great. Old Grexus is being, well, himself again. I have no time to lose. Contacts of Captain Grexus seem to dabble in Prometheum smuggling as well. These rebels have a shadowy benefactor with the moniker the Savant. That could be an important lead. Smash the tyrant! These rebels keep dealing in all sorts of dubious activities. The increasing warp surge tore this sector apart for a very long time, fragmenting the largest Astra Militarum regiment to separate it into teams. Those who were weak in faith fall into the abyss of foul treachery. Inquisitor! What a sight for sore eyes. Not a remark that I hear often, I must admit. I bet. But you have saved my precious hide again. Praise the Emperor. I had some pressing reasons to seek you out, Grexus. I sense a recurring pattern here, Inquisitor. I'm always glad to help the Imperium. So tell me, Inquisitor, how can I assist the Imperium today? I hear that you are an expert on Xenos relics. Oh, well, I have only dabbled in the fine arts, unless you want to transport them unnoticed by Imperial authorities. Then I am definitely your man. Let us pretend I didn't hear that. I am trying to locate a unique Xenos artifact. In that case, I might know of someone who could be of help. They call him the Savant. The shadowy figure behind your criminal friends. Who said anything about friends? I was led to believe that they conduct legitimate business. Or misled, rather. That savant, on the other hand, is far from a law-abiding citizen. He, or she, is running an operation dealing in black market Xenos art in the subsector. And where could I find this savant? I have no idea. But I can lead you to the base of those despicable gentlemen you have just obliterated. Righteously, of course. They are business partners now. I hope that your assumption is correct, and I will find information about the Savant's whereabouts there. And now comes the hard part. You will need to make these unworthy Imperial subjects reveal the location of the Savant. I don't have time to deal with prisoners and interrogations. New spheric analysis shows various cogitators in the area. All properly cleansed and maintained. Good suggestion. Those machines are probably being actively used by these people to conduct their operations. They might provide the information I need. Uh, I'll have my tech priest dealing with this. Cogitator data is fragmented. Crypto litanies are remarkably well versed for those unskilled in the tech mysteries. Can you decipher it? A larger sample would exponentially lower the estimated time cost of the procedure. So much for a surgical strike. I will clear the areas and access the other cogitators. I would rather have my tech priest dealing with this. Still no data on the location of the person of interest. Located an infotone tagged Fabricatus and Requillery, though. That unique term again. What could you find out about them? Data serfs recently finished combing through the material. Warning. 99.9% .9 speculation. Give me a summary. The Fabricatus were a Xenos race, confined to the Caligari sector. Extinct for several millions of standard years. Hypothesis based on Fabricatus Archeo fragments. These Xenos try to adapt Necron technology, with no significant result. I wonder what this machine does. Encrypted business transaction and financial correspondence analyzed between local subjects and a person with the name tag, Savant. Astro Telepathic codes identify the system and the world where the messages originated. Then we have what we were looking for. 
It's time to pay a visit to this savant. Be prepared for anything, Inquisitor. The savant has a fearsome reputation in my circles. Hopefully the agents of the Ordos have a similar reputation in your circles. Did you verify the coordinates we had for that mysterious savant? I did, Inquisitor. It is on Dvorogov, a quarantine world still infested by Tyranids which could spell trouble. Speaking of trouble, there is also an astropathic transmission for you from an Inquisitor of the Ordo Malleus. I'm Inquisitor Corax, a demon hunter of the Ordo Malleus, and I require your immediate attention. We need your assistance in a most important matter. Find me and my stronghold in the Venta system. Korax out. Change of plans, Inquisitor? No. If you ask me, the Demon Hunters are a secretive branch of the Inquisition, with an exaggerated sense of self-importance. Korax can wait. I must find the Savant first. Tech Priest, I need some ideas. How can I find a secret hideout in a desolate void board? The decree of tech preservation guarantees the long-term maintenance of our sacred data lots, even on worlds deemed temporarily uninhabitable. If I understand you correctly, the cogitator network must be functional to provide clues about the area. The assumption is correct. These cedars are truly a blight upon the subsector. Considering the adaptability of this race, the phenomenon is completely explicable. I'm much more interested in why anyone would choose a Tyranid-infested city as a hideout. Consider the Xenos presence as a defensive system. Let's see what happens now. Breaching the Data Vault has failed. You need to power up the Auxiliary Mainframe. Send me the coordinates to that mainframe. All this wreckage bears the sigils of the Adeptus Mechanicus. What happened here? This is interesting. This retinue was working for a techno-archaeologist. It could be the savant we seek. I presume the contingent was trying to eradicate the local Tyranid threat. Quite the contrary. They were trying to gain control of the Xenos population. I keep an open mind, but even I find that idea hard to swallow. On another note, the data slate contains location tags for their home base. Where is it? We have no information as yet. The tech priest is working on it. Station, there's an incoming transmission. An attempt to communicate. Good. My target must be getting nervous. You have entered Research Zone 17. Trespassing is strictly prohibited. You must leave immediately. You must be the Savant. I am an agent of the Holy Ordos, and I have questions for you. I only answer to the Machine Guard Inquisitor. The work I'm doing here is of paramount importance. We must be prepared for the return of the High Fleet. This is treachery, and you will pay for your insolence. I don't think so. But I hope you don't mind participating in a little experiment first. What are you doing here, Tech Priest? Displaying necessary initiative. Accessing the mainframe requires knowledge of Tier 4 administrative charts. Defend the area while the process is being completed. I appreciate your resourcefulness, but next time you must ask my permission first. For your information, Inquisitor, I will record your combat for further analysis. First, I found your intrusion bothersome, but I realize that your presence here grants me the opportunity to study the combat patterns of the Tyranids more thoroughly. You are doing the work of the Omnissiah. 
and I have spent decades working on my synaptic suede generating unit. But it was a failure. I set out to build a device that could control the turrets, and it was deemed impossible. But I can't give up on my vision yet. The persistence of my misguided brother there is getting frustrating, Inquisitor. Just like your unwelcome visit. I know you want to judge me, but I seek to save the Imperium. These organisms pose a huge threat. But if we can find a way to control them one day, just think about the potential. Scans show no more incoming hostiles. Also, data analysis complete. Void port structural records have been processed. The location of the underground facility is available. Excellent. It is time to pay a visit to that treacherous madman and discuss these experiments. I must reach the inner sanctum of this facility. Considering the nature of the Savant's experiments, I would be very grateful for some picked grabs if you find some of his devices. I don't think this will be a peaceful stroll into his sector. I thought the Savant employed these treacherous rebels only for smuggling, but he has an entire cohort of them as a private army. It's interesting. This savant sent an expedition to a former Fabricatus world and encountered the Eldari from the craft world Tuathol. Inquisitor! Spare our lives! We surrender! We have been tricked! I am aware that you have been led astray by an indoctrinated tech priest of the Imperium. Now you have your chance to prove your true loyalty. We will not fail the Imperium again, Inquisitor. I find your intrusion extremely inconvenient. I must warn you to leave immediately. This is your last chance to surrender. Cooperation might still save your life. My orders will not permit that. Defense protocols activated. They have faced numerous threats. They didn't expect to fight a Deptus Mechanicus battle automata. Destroying these ancient machines feels like sacrilege. We need to initiate canticles of penitence to the machine god. I understand you, Inquisitor. The thirst for knowledge is what is driving you into danger. You of all people can't blame me for craving knowledge. The long and arduous study of Xenos relics gave me extremely valuable notions about a machine that could turn the Xenos into useful weapons for the Imperium. I have failed to construct a functioning prototype, but I could be so close. You might find it difficult to believe me, Inquisitor. But I truly don't want to kill you. But now you leave me no choice.
Oh. Look, I didn't want to resort to pleading. But I've only been following orders from the upper echelons of Forge Well Fuel. Inquisitor, you have victoriously overcome all the obstacles I placed in your way. I am humbled, but also amused. I didn't come here to judge you for your sins, but you have left me no choice. I have been following the orders of my fabricator general. This is a secret research sanctum preparing for the return of the High Fleet. It was all classified. Or that is what you want me to believe. Is there any way I can convince you that I am a loyal Imperial subject? We will see. I seek an ancient Xenos relic, once crafted by the extinct Fabricatus race. That is a relief, because I can help you with that. The Xenotech relics of the Fabricatus has been an obsession of mine for a long time. And financing your heretical experiments by smuggling Xenos relics was just a coincidence. Pursuing my work requires resources. I need a particular artifact from their long-lost homeworld, but I don't know where it is. I have that information, which I obtained in unfortunate circumstances. I sent an expedition there once, but they encountered the Aldari and quickly met their demise. And what happened after that? Why do you think I'm hiding in the middle of a tyrannic infested planet? The Eldar may look like fools, but they are dangerous. You have been given a second chance. Don't waste it. You will not regret this choice. I have the information I've been looking for. I'll return to the ship now. I am not in the habit of allowing anyone to ignore my summons. We're engaged in the most devastating battle the Caligari sector has ever witnessed. Is the situation connected to that abnormal warp rift in the system? It is. We call it the Dark Nexus. A bloated, terrible warp anomaly, continuously expanding. We could be witnessing the birth of another Eye of Terror. By the Emperor? That is a very bold and unsettling assertion. Just think about it, Inquisitor. Another sub-reality in the Imperium, existing within both the real space and the warp, would open up a new front with an endless tide of enemies. And how could I assist your battle? As I've been notified by Inquisitor Krabat from the Ordo Hereticus, you have an asset on your ship, with extraordinary capabilities against the warp. It could help us. The asset is a she, not an it. And indeed, your information correlates with an ancient prophecy about the potential of the Alpha Pariah. But before we could even begin to discuss how she could help us, I must find an artifact that would channel her abilities. Otherwise, there might be grave consequences. I pray to the Emperor that you find that artifact soon. We will talk later. My priority is to find those Fabricatus ruins for the relic. The Scryer skull feed indicates that the coordinates received from the Tech Heretic lead to the former camp of his retinue. That will be my first destination. Logging new observation. The Fabricatus race knew about the Pariah Gene, and they were experimenting with it millions of standard years ago. They were trying to create a unique creature, combining the abilities of Psychos and Pariahs, capable of ruling the Warp. I have a strong suspicion that Uther Tiberius tried to complete the same experiment. Perhaps the last missing component was this Fabricatus artifact. These ancient structures indeed show some resemblance to known Necron ruins. Our understanding of the Necron civilization is still lacking, despite our recent unfortunate contacts with them. Apologies, Inquisitor, but this is a fairly unsubstantiated claim. Note, this is the typical short-sightedness of the biologically-based Magos. Flesh is weak, but steel abides. Steel is nothing without the motive force, and motive force resides in the flesh. 
The existence of Necron tomb worlds disproves your hypothesis. The Fabricators race could have reverse engineered some exposed Necron tech. Enough. Log off my Vox channel now, you two. Coordinates gained from the salvaged cogitator show the location of the ruins. I need more information on that area. The sensors indicate the presence of numerous architectural remains and a significant Alderi war host. The savant wasn't lying then. The Elder are here, and I find that disturbing. Their presence clearly correlates with their previous interest in the Alpha subject. Therefore, your assessment is an understatement. large forces down here. May I propose something, Inquisitor? Turns out that those crafty Xenos have a webway portal in the area. They will not be back down until you cut off their reinforcements. That is indeed true. I must destroy that webway portal first. Spoken like a true warrior of the Imperium. to search the area. They might have found information on the Fabricatus race before their demise. That's the webway portal. I only need to get closer. Inquisitor, wait! Something is happening down there, by the Emperor. What are these constructs? Or are they creatures? Well, well. The Eldar have brought in their war machines. That relic must be very important for them. You should return to the ship immediately. I have an even better idea. Captain, alert Sir Ambrose. We need the Crimson Wanderer down here for a noble joust. Your directive is quite straightforward, pilot. You must destroy those Wraith Lords, that is all. What a glorious day! I've never had the chance to match weapons with Eldari combat walkers! Your arrogance will be your downfall. There are three of those Xenos Knights on the battlefield. Those constructs are so nimble and so graceful that even I cannot but marvel at their beauty. Still, they have no chance against good, sturdy Imperial bastards. I have a tactical update for you, pilot. I am listening, dear sir. The Wraith Lords seem to be currently on patrol duty, and their pathways cross several times. Plan your route carefully, otherwise you could stumble upon two of them simultaneously. Two Eldari constructs against the Crimson Wanderer. That would be a sight to see. to defeat. Good sir, I'm beginning to find your tower that's almost disheartening. As it has been written, the steel giant tramples through the Garden of Bones. Wait, what is this? Who are you, creature? I weep and I mourn for the lithe dancer. Even if I comprehended, this had to happen. Don't mind her annoying Xenos ways. She is... well, 
I don't know if she is our ally or enemy at the moment, and that bothers me. Behold the might of the Crimson Wanderer! Ambrose, the readings show abnormal excess of energy on the release pistons of your knight. Be more careful, please. Fear not, dear lady. I promised to give back your precious scarf, didn't I? Even if it is my most prized possession. Yes, you did. And I expect you to deliver my scarf in person, sir. Enough of this nonsense. You are in battle, pilot, not in a ballroom. Another star flickers and dies in the eternal night. It was an admirable adversary, my friend. Twins. Both of them heroes. One of them dead. One alive. Encased in Wraithbone. Now fading away. Enforcements can get through the gate. That was a battle to remember. I am grateful for the opportunity. Praise the Emperor! We have the up-to-date Arga information. The vicinity of the ruins is swarming with Chuafal Eldari. At least the Crimson Wanderer took care of the potential reinforcements. The Elder will pose a considerable threat. Have you thought about deploying Sir Caradoc again? I cannot risk the safety of the artifact by sending in a war machine with the most devastating weaponry in the entire system. Noted. The Tech Priest is trying to scan the area for further information. I'm on my way to the ruins. Contact me when the Tech Priest is finished with the scans. walking among the bleached bones of a civilization that dreamt about your prophecy eons ago. How does that feel? Remarkable. What is more remarkable is that I still have no idea why you are assisting me at all. Why do you care? I am nothing but a speck of dust in the terrible storm that will one day awaken a god. If that was meant to reassure me, you failed. of power and truth. So many of them came here, like insects drawn to the flame, only to end up as withered husks. The remains of the Savant's expedition. But I am an Inquisitor. I will not fail. You are not allowed to fail, just yet. You have the living, breathing key to the prophecy. find your stubbornness astonishing, human. You have caused enough pain and suffering already. Whatever is hiding under that force field, it is ours. Completed. Highly irregular energy signature located. And how does that help me exactly? 
The presence of an energy field, evidently generated by Xenos technology, must indicate the location of the relic you seek. I must be on the right track then. Can you feel it? Like a vast, terrible heart beating in anticipation. Your battle awaits. You let me fight your own kind, but you refuse to participate. I walk a more elusive path. The Tausel might see me as almost as alien as you do, but I will not fight my own people. I was not referring to that battle, though. wondering for a while how this relic could have survived for countless millennia, but now I know. Analysis. Impenetrable energy field. Signature identical to the force field protecting the status chamber of the Martyr. That barrier needed to be deactivated by a specific key. Theory. The powers of the Alpha subject might interact with the field. Inquisitor, you have incoming. Sergeant, I need the Alpha Pariah. Send her to me. Allow me to join the fight, Inquisitor. Anything could happen to us here, Thorn. Anything. If I do not make it back, you must deliver all my findings to the Conclave. Affirmative. Are you serious, Inquisitor? I feel a resonance with this thing. None of us know what will happen if I step closer. I give you an artifact from the dawn of the universe, the key that might unlock your true potential, and suddenly, you are afraid? I was only making an observation in the light of my recent ordeals. I hope you don't expect me to apologize. My expectations are irrelevant. My orders matter, however. If this is indeed my legacy, you can expect a heartfelt apology from me. We will discuss your impertinence later. Now proceed. Bravo! What a fabulous performance. Inquisitor, my only remaining part in this play is to take the Alpha Pariah with me and let the curtain fall. I knew that I couldn't trust you. You have manipulated me, Eldar. I have merely woven all the threads together. Twinning the fate of the Tauthal Eldari and yourself, Inquisitor, until you all made this moment happen together. I have warned you once. Playing games with an Inquisitor is dangerous, even for your kind. This is not a game, human. The Anathema Ultima must be adorned with the Crown of Emptiness. Only then will she enter the Immaterium to fulfill a destiny both frightening and majestic. I suspect that you have other plans for her. The Anathema Ultima is the brightest glimmer of hope for us. For the Inari, this is inevitable. I was expecting at least some assistance from you. It was your battle to fight, not mine. And now you talk like the Harlequin. How are you feeling? It is difficult to explain. My will is... 
It is a barbed, poisonous thing. And it is also smooth and cold as obsidian. And it is a weapon. And a key. And the tincture that heals the black wound on the world. I don't like this. The Magos will take a look at you on the ship. We have gathered here to bring forth the prophecy that was foretold at the dawn of the galaxy. The Alpha Pariah shall be adorned by the Crown of Emptiness and destroy the Dark Nexus by sailing into the Empyrean. Very poetic, also fundamentally wrong. The Dark Nexus is not our priority here. Fabius Bile is one of the most abhorrent adversaries of the Empyrean. We shall attack his hideout. I have traveled here on the Martyr, now properly purged and blessed with the zealots of my order on board. It should be a sufficient force. So very hereticous of you. May I remind you that Bile Starfort is inconveniently close to the most terrible warp anomaly ever seen in this sector? They use this Alpha Pariah to destroy Bile. That's where her true capabilities lie, Delta. Before we deal with the Dark Nexus, we have to eliminate the Primogenitor. I must object. We simply cannot allow the Alpha Pariah to get close to Bile. That traitor played a huge part in her creation. What if he seizes control of her? Use her to obliterate the Dark Nexus, which is also the source of Bile's power. Then we will deal with the Primogenitor on our own. You know the Alpha Pariah the best, Inquisitor. I think you should have your say before I chime in. It is most unfortunate, but I must respectfully disagree with your decision, Inquisitor. It seems we have reached an impasse. And honestly, this is her fate we are talking about. This should be her decision. Whatever action the Alpha Pariah takes, it will have colossal consequences. I simply don't have a say in this matter. Nonsense! We are Inquisitors. We rule over life and death for the sake of the Imperium. Inquisitor Mercer, I really appreciate your concerns. Inquisitor Krabart, I even see your point. But I made my decision a long time ago. I will follow the prophecy. But first, I will kill Fabius Bile. I have seen some of my unsuccessful iterations in Uther's laboratory. The cursed handiworks of Bile. I have to stop him and end this cycle of suffering and pain. I want to destroy that worm. On one condition. What would that be? You, Inquisitor, will accompany me, and we will face Fabius Bile together. I wouldn't have it any other way. It has come to this. We are in the tainted fortress of the Primogenitor that even his own traitorous brothers despise and fear. That's what I was expected to say, right? I find your increasing cynicism slightly troubling. The Plague Marines are Bile's personal guards. Someone is trying to make our mission either easier or even more complicated. The Drakari? Here? Orok was right! The creature is here! Take up and kill the Inquisitor! I am not a creature! I understand. The Drakari only attacked Bile's fortress because they were certain that you would be there. Uther expected that. He always thought that the Eldari factions would be after me. It was one of the many reasons he kept me on a ship monastery. They were following vile steps all the way to keep track on you. They must be desperate to capture or kill you. Some abomination crawling out of the webway will not frighten me anymore, Inquisitor. How are you faring down there, Inquisitor? There have been some developments. I can 
Hikari marauders, vile scum, killing each other without mercy. And there goes the last trace of my guilt for being on watch duty on my ship. For a while I suspected that the Dark Eldar were working on fire. That is not the case. Obviously not. The Dark Eldar will never bow their heads before anyone else, no matter how powerful. Inquisitor, do you feel a constant, horrible sensation? Like walking in the nightmare of an insane mind. The proximity of Dark Nexus plays tricks on reality. And by the way, a very poetic observation. If you spend your waking hours in laboratories and meditation chambers, books become your best friends. You know, Uzu was not entirely a monster. Still, I wish I could have faced him like I will face Bile soon. She is! Kill the monkey! And take that creature! I will enjoy watching you try. You might have defeated my brother, but you should fear me. Your brother? That was the bug we found crawling on our ship? He didn't put up much of a fight. She is right. You'd better be off fleeing and finding someone weaker in your dark city to torture. I don't want to torture her. Believe it or not, I am willing to forfeit pleasure for a greater goal. The Whispering God will have the Anathema Ultima. She will be devoured, and our time will come. Not on my watch. Inquisitor Mercer, you might be surprised to hear that the Jukari were following this whispering god. That puts them in the same league as your treacherous Harlequin friend. First, she was only a loose acquaintance. Secondly, such cooperation is not unheard of. Although, it is a fairly recent occurrence. Various Eldar and Dark Eldar groups are combining their forces to join that mysterious cult. I find this development most troubling. Says the Inquisitor who's on his way to fulfill an ancient prophecy. The Hound of the Corpse Emperor. So glad you are here. You almost sound relieved, traitor. So keen to atone for your sins. Our master has been expecting you, Inquisitor, and you have come. Good. I like things to be predictable. You are unlike the Drukhari filth, storming us so unexpectedly. Most annoying. What are we waiting for then? I have a destiny to fulfill, remember? Patience. We need to regroup on the ship. Then we can store Bile's inner sanctum. Are you ready? I'm not worried about Fabius Bile. I'm more intrigued by whatever comes after. In the great beyond. I must warn you again. We have absolutely no idea what will happen to you when you sail through the Dark Nexus on the Martyr. I know exactly what is awaiting for me there, Inquisitor. Freedom. Whatever fate has in store for me beyond that unholy rift, I can be myself there. I was created to serve a purpose in this world. I have accepted and fulfilled my destiny here. 
you will set forth into the Empyrean, the realm of bloodthirsty gods, madness, and monsters. A place not meant for any human. I am not human, Inquisitor. I've never been human. And still, by letting the Dark Nexus consume you, you will do the most humane thing I have ever seen in this forsaken corner of the Imperium. We are in Bile's laboratory. The pulsing black heart of this accursed labyrinth. Let's end this. Kill Fabius Bile so I can enter the Great Beyond. Your task is to close the Dark Nexus. Nothing else. What a vile display of sheer insanity. This is not insanity, Inquisitor. Just cruelty and barbarism. I spit on this primogenitor. Bile probably never gave up his dreams to reconstruct... well... you. The churning effluvia of the Dark Nexus must provide enough energy for him to conduct his experiments. Not anymore. I will take my revenge, sisters. What a pleasant surprise, Inquisitor! Finally! You have delivered what belongs to me. If I were you, I wouldn't be too thankful for that. Enjoy the irony of your creature becoming your unmaking. My child, you are as much Uther's creation as mine. The idea was his. I only provided my exceptional talents to make his vision come true. You are the pinnacle of my art. I'm sure you would attest to that, Inquisitor. Tiberius wanted to send her against the warp. You wanted to use her to destroy the Imperium of Man. Like all my other selves roaming this dying galaxy, I have exercised my genius to make my name immortal. If I can cause the fall of your corpse, Emperor, it will be a charming addition. Force to manipulate, to rule. The Immaterium was an end worth pursuing. One day, even the so-called ruinous powers will bow before the new men. Blasphemy! You have betrayed everything, even your dark gods. Perish! This is the end, then. At least for this clone of the foul Fabius Bile. What you consider the end is a new beginning for me. Keep on fighting for the Imperium, Inquisitor. We might meet again one day. I pray to the Emperor that we won't.
If anyone can hear me, this is my farewell. I am the Alpha Pariah. I am the Anathema Ultima. I am on the Marta, flying into the Dark Nexus. I can feel the surge of endless possibilities. Uther was right. The Immaterium must be reshaped, ruled. There is no other way to survive the Dark Times. I am ready. Sensor readings confirm that the Dark Nexus has closed. The plan worked. I wonder if the Alpha Pariah survived the collapse of the anomaly. Her unique nature will protect her from the Immaterium. And don't forget that the machine spirit of the Martyr will follow the protocols and keep her safe. I know that she was not to blame, but her presence made our skins crawl. It might be better for her, out there. The unfortunate side effect of being a pariah. What will become of her now? Only the Emperor knows. She might become our greatest ally against the Chaos. She could become the greatest ally of Chaos. And maybe nothing will happen. We will probably never know, Captain.